Hello. Ah, let's finish this, shall we? Let's finish this. Oh yeah, that. Thank you, Kermy. Go about that. You made me check the schedule, Eugene. Because I was like, have I done the schedule wrong? It's Friday, right? <laughs> you fucked me up, man. Hey, Sagano. Hey, Eugene. Hey, Krimi. Hey, you mace. How ya all going? No free you today. No free you tomorrow. Hey, Sagano. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. You need a gem from Dyer for you now? No. Origin. I need to finish this game. I'm on the wrong screen capture. Strong, yet somehow fragile. There we go. Mobius. What even are they? Harvesting our lives to cling. You forgot how much I enjoy it? Yeah, that's the reason why I want to finish it. Mio. Allowing for limiting conditions. We are reborn after we have died. A Mobius as well. Mobius, uh. They can't be brought back once they die. Why is that? I'm not sure myself. Although each of them is fundamentally. Is there a follow-up to the plot twist yet? That's no. Why they're afraid of death. They're scared, huh? I mean, I mean, kind of, I guess. You too. About the furthest of a twist there is. It's not really a twist. Um. And now, he's really gone. Mio's half Mobius, so. Like, yeah. When we kill Mobius, we kill Mio, probably. Smile on his face. I'll never forget it. Not until my dying breath. Mm. What am I drinking? What uh, Fanta. Death that Mobius fear it so? Orange Fanta. It's in a weird Halloween can. That smile might be it. Because he broke free of Zed's control. You know the origin? That's kind of like irrelevant to the twist as such though, right? Of Neo staying alive. Fanta good, Fanta is good. It's taste. He's lying, fuck he's not. <laughs> I mean, I do have the can right there. It's very easy to prove. <laughs> Hey, Etia. How are you doing? That was meant to be. If I were given the chance, if this road I've walked were to keep on going, I put scotch in there off camera. If I put scotch in there off camera, the next thing I would have done is yeet the fucking can away from me. <laughs> Quite frankly. Vomit, probably? Yeah. Forever isn't it. I would have gagged as soon as it went near my nose, I can tell you that much. When I finish it, will it be Vamp or Grand Blue, or will I play Monster Hunter for a few hours? It's... I imagine by the time I finish it today, there will be at maximum an hour of the stream left. Um, so at that point, I'll just end the stream. The next week will be Vamp. At least four hours, you're guessing two to three. Interesting. Interesting.
for throwing shit at Vortex. The final boss of all the attached cuts seems like an hour and a half. Yeah, that's what I sort of expected. Hey, you Jordan. How you doing? Pleasure to save you. You've received a parcel, a gift for your girlfriend. You got a special edition. Nice. Good shit. Very nice. I have a question for you, though. Qu question, Krimi. Krimi, I got a question for you. The fuck is this? Um, would you even be able to watch Grand Blue if it was? On the Wii days? Oh, two to three hours left. Oh, that makes more sense. That makes a lot more sense. I'm Scottish now. What I just did is an offense to the Scots, quite frankly. <laughs> Don't put that evil on them. You can watch, you'll just be in and out because of work. Would you prefer it to be on a weekend or where it is? Not yet. There are still a few things to put in order. Wonderfully said. You do not have a preference. Okay. How many coins do I have? I can level up 33 worth of glasses. Okay, at the very least, I want you to, Max. Can I rank up like multiple times? Thank fuck. <laughs> Whoops, strong one. What are you doing? What even are you? Who even are you? What were you doing this? You two, because I feel it's the most appropriate, are going to be your canon classes. Because you're the only two with leveled up classes we don't talk about uni. Um. <laughs> that This game does have those, yes. Full Zephyr? That's not going to be happening. And then I think the others... I might just leave them for now. Although I do kind of want another healer. No. No, I will not. Where better to monitor the battle than on healing duty? I have. Enjoyed my time with this game. But I would also think it's also true to say that I have had enough. <laughs> Just to be truthful. 
It's not, like, even necessarily the game's fault. I'm just, I'm just not a JRPG person. JRPGs play into so many tropes that I just don't like, personally. And it's like, it's okay, right? That's how it is. That's just how it is. That's life. <laughs> but yeah, they play into a lot of tropes that I am not a fan of. You've never met a gamer who liked every type of game? Yeah, exactly, right? What about action RPGs? Is in no turn-based combat? Oh, I love action RPGs. One of the one of the things I like most about this game is the combat system. Not at the start. The start's terrible. <laughs> Let me just make that very clear. At the start, it is a disaster. But at the end, it's a wonderful combat system. Chaining stuff together, doing all of that stuff. I wish you didn't spend so much time in the menus, right? But the combat system is brilliant. Incredibly well done. It's just a shame that it starts off so slow. But yeah. No, I don't like fighting games either, right? Nobody likes every type of game. Doesn't mean I don't give them a try every now and then. Yeah, I'm not really a fighting gamer either. Nothing wrong with that. Just how it is. It's just how it is. This is a smash. <laughs> this is a smash. <laughs> I'm, I was looking at it the whole time like... Am I seeing this correctly? <laughs> that is a smash. That's busted. On a damage dealer as well. <laughs> That's nasty. What is Breath of Fire Dragon Quarters? What the fuck is that? Speed kills use no of air slash and mighty V? Damn. Okay. The XC3 dub feels less British than XC1. Does it feel less British or does it feel less stereotyped? Because this game is very stereotyped. Well, th this game is less, I feel like, maybe. That's why I actually wanted to say sorry. Because while they go hard on a lot of characters, some other characters are less, like, you know. Oh, pip pip too low, mate! All that shit, you know? There's, there's a lot more... <laughs> reasonable that's <laughs> going on <laughs> tally ho yeah exactly
Uni saying in it, any other ever admit Uni is the is the particularly bad one. Interesting, Eugene. Is it a very long game? Because if so, that sounds kind of miserable. We got a good amount of shit going on here. You don't really crit a lot, actually. Don't really know what I want on. Yeah, go ahead, you do. I'm not gonna be able to look at it, but you you can do it. Fucking sure. Well, I don't know. Why do you suck at me in your own class so much? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good idea, ETR. Good funkin'. We gong is really good. Now he can suck less. What's Quiong? Less, um... Like, straight reduces enemy defense by 35% or something? Yeah, there you go. It doesn't even reduce it. It acts like it was reduced. Which is interesting. Uh... Mario and Luigi's brothership is being divisive. Why is it being divisive? I mean, I don't mind you having some physical defense here. Sure. I like these very good. I know you do good damage, but do you have the other one? No, you don't. Okay, that's fine then. Dude, they really didn't equip these guys with anything, huh? What the fuck is my gem repertoire? It's the gems that I use and none of the other ones? Oh, okay, UTR, fair. Why would I build all the ones that I don't use? <laughs> it's just a waste. <laughs> An underlevel? They're as high level as they can get. What if it's worth giving this to you, honestly? Nope. I did it incredibly recently, Mace. Like, at the end of last stream. This is as high as they go. I'm gonna. Easier. I've already thought about all of this before the stream today. <laughs> 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 
Yours was like six? Yeah, but you were probably clearing everything, right? You were playing more last night? I downloaded it last night, but I haven't um I haven't started it yet. I've got other games to play. First. Too many games. Okay, I want crit. I do maybe also want straight attack though, but crit. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it that high, unfortunately. Shame. Doesn't have innately high crit, I suppose. Oh, Mio, Mio, Mio. We are gonna fucking ruin some people. Me and you. We are gonna kick some fucking ass. I could get you up to 43 block rate as well. That's kind of crazy. Already thought about it, Mace. <laughs> Catch up, man. You're so behind my thinking. <laughs> You need silver and gold in the free you as well. Nice. I'm glad you actually want stuff. That's good. Uh, these guys I'm still probably going to switch around at some point. But I might as well at least put them to their... Their classes. Silver can easily rob your patients with one sightseeing. <laughs> yeah, that um that fly around is not particularly enjoyable to be honest. Let's back out this menu first before I do that. Everyone got their strength back. It only recommends 55. Really? I'm getting peckish. Do we have any snacks? Maybe.
maybe I'll go up to 60 and then whatever natural experience I get will be good enough. Then. We finish this today? We are, yeah. The, the plus button? Oh yeah, level up. Oh, that would have been helpful. Can I check the max? What, that I can get people to? 68. I definitely feel stronger. Not too shabby. We will be finishing this today though, yes. Am um, excite. Oh, I could do this one now. Nice. Grab the stuff for that at some point. I think we'll find this useful. That's convenient, since Dex is one of the things I use on just about everyone as well. Oh hey! It's ready. I think we'll find this useful. Maybe I checked it before the very last area. I'll have to take that one back, Mace. Right, if I go out of this menu and then go back into I'm this menu again. Okay. So this is kind of lacking. This is also a very important one. It's ready. Come on, I want to use it quick. Five percent healing speed or five healing power. This also gets two healing power. I think I would rather have that. Nicely turned out. Come on, I wanna use it quick. I should do it, you think? Coin it. Coin everything. You're gonna play new for you with Nina really soon? Oh hell yeah, Eugene. Are you starting from the beginning again? Or are you just continuing? From a certain point? Okay, important question. Am I unable to change people's levels once I go to this place? Or will I still be able to change people? I will still be able to. Then, perfect. Yeah, I'm probably not going to warp out. The only thing I'm going to do is change classes into stuff that I want people on. Because I don't have enough knock on coins to max out everyone's classes, so I want to get as much level on them as I can before I do it, right? Game will let you know when you hit a point and no return. Cool. I thought that's what this warning was, to be honest. <laughs>
We got escorts. You guys ain't gonna be able to do this though, so why are you here? We here, middle of Great Sea. Noah, please to activate cloaking device. Roger. Cloaking activated. No issues yet. Are we sure this is really gonna work? They're not gonna, like, open fire when we get too close. Maybe I shouldn't be here, if it ends up working to our disadvantage. We cross bridge when we get to. Uh, anyhow, we small targets, so won't take every bullet. <laughs> Riku, you don't seem to be taking this seriously. If worse comes to worse, we'll try to draw the heat for you. <laughs> That'll take the wind out of their sails. Okay. Hey, uh, what's a sail again? We've made it this far. Just quit worrying. Go with the flow, yeah? For Spark's sake. Talk about carefree. It's go time. Full power to engine. There'd be a little drop, so make sure to hold on tight. Wait, what drop? <laughs> Nitro warning! What? <laughs> we just dove off the edge of the world? You know Noah's the protagonist because he's in the front of Riku? Yeah, because Riku's the main protagonist. So you've come. Ouroboros. Our cloak was useful then. Yeah, it's your vortex. Looks very vortexy. No, no, no. We're going to get blown away. Yeah. We can hold on. Something's coming. Out on the other side. What is that? Yeah, yeah, I do remember. It must be origin. It's here. I do remember. So that shadow, that's what we're after. It's fucking ginormous. Easily ten times the size of a castle. The place where everything began. Origin. The Kavesi Queen is there. Not to mention. It was the um. The conversation of either going right, left, or through the middle. But through the middle was impossible because of the vortex destroying everything. And then the gang rightfully pointed out, why did you even mention it then? <laughs> Basically. Oh, they're destroying the colonies. No! Don't turn that off. What are they thinking? They're even shooting at colonies that haven't been freed. Taking pot shots now? They're still their allies. No, they're not. They're fucking. Are you an idiot? 
You've lost the plot. They're not allies. They're fucking Monica. slaves. Mobius only cares about themselves. If this gets up, they're as good as raised the entire world. They're all about life, aren't they? For them, yeah. As long as they have origin, they can keep on making more of us. For them, this might just count as charging up. Reveling in the final glimmers of our lives. They want us to flicker out. When the last light fades, they're planning on starting over. It is crazy how you guys are just having the realization now that everyone other than Mobius is disposable to Mobius. Even half of the Mobius members are disposable to Mobius. surprised as they are appalled but they're like why would they do this like <laughs> <Such trouble. laughs> all of the things that they've done before of the term endless now. Endless now is very good, yeah. It is a very apt description. Do they? Because if they were thoroughly committed, I feel like they would have aimed a lot more of those lasers at us. Noah, can you please stop trying to justify their actions? Thank you, lady. Of course. <laughs> all right. Gondor! Get it time to pull out all the stops. We'll play the decoy for you. You guys Psychological warfare. Oh, I understand why they're doing it. I just don't understand why the allies, the good people in this, are like Why are they doing this? You know? We'll need your help. Riku, pass me the controls. When literally everything they've done is like the most heinous shit ever. <laughs> The baddies have created an infinite cycle where they absorb essentially the life essence of people that they breed for the sole purpose of dying. And then they kill those people and the, the good guys are like, they would do this? Unbelievable. You know? Silly people. We're flying. We can't take much more. Get in, Aura Boro.
Did the uh <laughs> Oh yeah dude The people who are making Origin, Nia and um, whatever the fuck the other lady was called, did they realize how fucking ominous they were making this thing? Even without all of the storms around it and the purple lighting, this thing is scary as shit, man. <laughs> The outside of it's scary, man. But they put a head on it. Not only is it a giant bull, which is kind of freaky in of itself, they put a head on it. Origin. Almost like a Pharonis, huh? The original Pharonis. This one's the first. Not just first. I think all Pharonises derive from this one right here. really wanted to give it head eh? Eh? yeah see like this is obviously like this is uh this is Zed right <laughs> creepy purple lightning everything's ominous this is Zed all over this is Zed 101 So this is what it's like on the inside. It's all just machines and more machines. I also see trace amounts of the black fog. Hey, this metal. It's like Noah's sword. You're right. It is the same. Didn't we already have this conversation? Mio, you know what's in here? Sorry, no. Whenever we teleported, it was always to a large, dim room. I think that was Zed's doing, to keep the location secret. Don't forget the dramatic lighting. Guess we're searching the old-fashioned way, then. Don't forget the dramatic lighting. What about the other Mobius? Anything? About that. It's odd. It's like they're right here beside me, but also far away. I feel like I'm surrounded by them on all sides. Well, this is the enemy base and all. Kind of makes sense. Or maybe. Huh? This whole place. Floor, walls, and ceiling. Everything here could be Mobius. <gasps> Good said. He already said that. Is it them? No. Transmission pattern's different. This feeling. It's like it's calling to us. You think it's the Caressy Queen? Maybe. Where then? Can you tell? I don't know how it's... What kind of place is this? <laughs> Good, Senna? Is everyone all right? Senna, have you been paying attention, Senna? <laughs> is this like a rare thing? Uh, 
Hello, creepy black shades. Seems about right. Kind of wild that it said you had to be level 30, 55 to come here and then it's immediately level 63. As soon as I get inside. Advanced scout. Huh? I recommend this is at the start of the chapter. Why on earth does it do it that way? Do I recognize the theme? No, most of the times, instead of listening to the music, I've been laughing my ass off of you, Mace. <laughs> because every time a music track plays, you're like, hey, it's this music! <laughs> It's a remix to the first battle theme. A vague whiff right. of Mobius coming off. Those things, what's that mean? I'm not sure. It's said. Yeah. Are you trying to say those things might but they don't even look I think the shape might not matter. Huh? I think I'm starting to get the picture. I feel like I know what Hey. Who wields the sword of the end? The endless now is under threat of being cut short. He's still getting over the fact he was cut. Dude. Could you do it? I wonder. Could you slay the ones who advance relentlessly toward despair? You do. <laughs> That's just mace, Etia. Above all others. That's just mace. Take it in your hand. For the endless now. For that which you so desire. Do the math. Do not do the math. Don't do math. Don't listen to Mace. Math is, math is bad. You love the OST. <laughs> I understand that. <laughs> You've just every single time any track comes up, you put it out, and I spent too much time laughing about it rather than listening to the track. <laughs> no, it's orange. Nice. Very techno futuristic sounding music here. I'll do my best. Brute force is my jam. Let's make some jam then.
Mia is still fucking amazing. Cool. Can't say I'm surprised. Did that smash? That was on it with the smashes. That was instantaneous. So it's kind of nice to not play the damage sometimes because the the AI just waits with their really powerful abilities and just nail the stuff immediately. They tend to hold their top all launch, etc. Yeah, which is kind of like a problem in a way, but also it's just kind of nice. They really can just like straight up break me quite a lot, huh? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Dude, I would love to maybe switch to Flash Tensor here. Leave all of these guys to do what they need to do. Because holy shit, they're going to make it happen. Why don't you break this fucker, please? They did it when I was doing stuff in the wrong order. Thankfully. Doesn't matter, they got it anyway. This class is still so good, man. The amount of damage you get yourself out of is fucking amazing. It's so good. I also like how all of its hearts combo together really, like, well as well. I feel like... Ooh. 
We forgot the field theme. The field theme's really good. I like this combo of Mio takes one target as well. And kind of just keeps her aggroed so she can take a high target and then... A high damage target and then um, Lance takes the rest of them with his guard stuff. That's pretty helpful. What are you hiding, little guy? That's pretty helpful. Not gonna lie. Tyon is gonna take a long time to ding. <gasps> They're ranked 12. Oh! Of course. They can do that now. Is that going up or down? Going down, right? How the fuck did I just walk past that thing? I honestly might just play Zephyr for the rest of the game. <laughs> Dude, I love this class at the start just because it was quick. I still love it now. Because all the animations just go so fucking well together. It's just so smooth. Noah is doing disgusting fucking damage, by the way. Like, absolutely illegal amounts of damage right now. The only problem is the way I like to play combat is to annihilate the smaller enemies first. And Mio's class is a lot better suited for taking big boy aggro. Because she just dodges shit in the meantime. This for me. Do you have a top form? You don't. That's a shame. Can wait till next turn. This guy's gonna give me some experience. Good job, Mio. The fact that that's already doing damage is like... It feels ridiculous, but that's actually just how that should normally work. <laughs> it's been so broken into the way that damage works in this game. I'm like, yeah, no one does anything. It's already launched. Cool. Delightful. Give me a physical defense down, please. Would be nice if Mio was more damaging, though.
Sir, you're a healer. <laughs> what? I always forget Falmaturge is an offensive oriented healer. I could smash in here. With 570% damage. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I may have just realized how broken that is. Oh my god. May have taken me until this moment to understand what's going on. I just wait. I just, if I can get a launch in this shit, I wait until, I launch as soon as I can. Wait until the Ouroboros round and then smash. And then I just wait. Right? Like they just die. It's over. That's kind of fucking wild. I'm gonna check to see how this works. Does this go up? It does. It can only add 99 at a time. Oh my god. What have I just made happen? This is disgusting. Cool. Uh, you do this. Do we swap pinion with short for her pinion? No, it's a, it's a feather. Fun. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> oh, devil. This is gonna be a shitload of experience, man. Overleveled enemies, 700% and a unique. Elite, you only need... Yeah, I got the wrong way around. Sorry, I have them the wrong way around in my head. Dude, that didn't even give me that much. That's a terrifying thing. Bye. Bye, Noble Acid Bob is a great name. You can survive that. You'll be fine. Uh, will you though? Yeah, yeah, you will. Because you're you. I'm really glad I gave myself those two levels, by the way. Otherwise, uh, stuff might have been bad. <laughs> stuff might have been bad if I didn't give myself those two levels. The 
Nice. Hey, I'm Matty boy. It's going well. Thank you. How's it going for you? Happy Friday indeed. To boost decks by 35%. Oh my god. Is this crit rate boost not included in his crit rate? It can't be, right? It is already included. Are you sure? Because that boosts by 35. And then this boosts by 15 percentage points. Which would automatically put it at 50, but it's not 50. Cypher's Edge. Is that an accessory? Oh, right. Oh, I'm an idiot. It's it's boosting by percentage, not by fucking... Yeah, don't worry, I'm done. It's percentile, it's not flat. <laughs> you cleaned the house earlier? And hoovered, now you're chilling. Nice. You got a greasy full English delivered? Good shit. Just take no damage at any point. Because Mio's fucking busted. Hey, look, what are you gonna do? Hit me? <laughs> that shit's so good. <laughs> I'm, in I'm invincible. <laughs> win the game. <laughs> I never should have stopped playing Zephyr, man. Zephyr the whole time. 
Seven for life. Oh my god, the damage! Holy fuck, Noah. Do you think I'd love the post game a lot more than the main game? Potentially, yeah. I think I just love Zephyr, to be honest. I think I just love Zephyr. <laughs> give me my, give me your top, my, you my top three classes. Zephyr, Zephyr, and Zephyr? It is unmatched. Uh, Zephyr... Zephyr, Flash Fencer, and Lone Exile. No in Cursor, though. I like how much damage it does, but I don't like that you can't... I don't feel like I can see the reason why I'm doing that. Because the crit just builds up slowly over time, right? So I know I'm critting more, so I do more damage. But I can't get a visual feedback reason of why I'm doing lots more damage now. Other than the fact that just the numbers are a little bit higher. Whereas with... Um, With Zephyr, you can very clearly see when you've dodged attack and stuff, right? Which is good. I get a immediate visual feedback that I'm doing stuff correct. Flash Fencer, I, I can see that I'm doing a ton of damage. And I feel like I'm the one actively making a difference in how much damage I am doing. Because of power charge. Like I'm actively manipulating my abilities to come back because so the damage is based on me.
Lone Exiles, kind of a similar thing. Lone Exile also gave me, um... Launch. As an actual possibility in a squad. Just all the time. Curse damage output isn't that high compared to Flash Fence. Flash Fencer. Yeah, Flash Fence is really good. Especially with the art being a smash as well, right? It might not be as good as some other smash options in the In the long run, I'm sure, but That being a relatively consistent flash as soon as you can get it, it's really nice. It's nice the the level you can get it at, I suppose is maybe a more appropriate way to say it. Ease of access. Martial artist I like, but I don't know, I feel like if you play correctly one of the coolest things, which is that the class attacks quicker and quicker is rendered kind of non-existent. Because you're constantly cancelling arts and stuff, which means that's just not happening. Just kind of a shame. Well, we've been found. Ah, uh, no, I'll be okay. All of the evades, man. Nope, get evaded. It's so nice just how much shit you dodge, man. Oh, you live! Well done. Oh, I suppose there wasn't much of the smash left.
I absolutely adore the amount of shit that just misses me because I'm playing this class, even if I'm not actively dodging. Eh, uh, get dodged. Martial arts gives its best skill and it's out of way, so like with most agony and steal the arts and skill, play Kavasi, yeah. Just dodge hits. I haven't been getting my dodge up that much, unfortunately. I honestly live for such a long time, though. So much longer than I ever would have expected to. You know what does really hurt? The fact that I don't have a strategist. I just keep missing and it's fucking everything up. I don't really wanna topple. Or I don't wanna uh, do my charge arts if I can avoid it. Chain attack, that's what it's called. Fucking hell, that was hard to find. Oh, get the launch, good. Made me do this. Hey, Miff. How you doing? Finding it very good. I'm enjoying the combat immensely again now that I'm uh, playing this class once more. <laughs> After the long break, because of the leveling stuff up. You know what, I'm going to do it. It might not happen, but I'm going to do it. 90% chance to bypass the defense. Are the others, or is this my first one? This is my first one. Um, give me a break. You failed me, Uni. First and last. Unless someone else forces me to play it. Last? No? Why? I'm not really a JRPG person.
so a lot of the like typical story beats and tropes and stuff like that right they rub me the wrong way <laughs> it's your favorite series yeah the reason i'm playing it is because um it's mace's favorite series who's someone in the community here and they made me play it Well done. Made it happen. Please tell me you have a launch. You have a launch as well. <laughs> Up you go. <laughs> Please bring Noah back. Please bring Noah back. Uh, this looks scary, but it's fine, actually, because of this combo. Oh, Noah's guaranteed to come back on the Ouroboros round. <laughs> it's fine. It's all good. It's a freebie. <laughs> Dude, launch is the best thing to ever happen. Well, I got it. Boom. Oh, that's the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Half health. Uh. <laughs> it was half fucking health, man. Oh. <laughs> yeah, right, Etia. <laughs> I'm so happy I went over to that fight. That was very worth it. Uh, Fucking hilarious. Uh, all right. Xeno 2, I can guarantee you I won't like myth. That's the problem. What's that? What happened? Why did he die? Because Noah did a smash with 700% damage modifier. From a launch that only just start because of, um, 
because of the way the the thingy works and instantly did 50% of that monster's health in one hit. Despite the fact that the rest of the damage I'd done in the entire thing was like fucking nothing. Oh look, I get to do it again. Uh... <laughs> well, that was just the first one because I didn't think anyone would actually do it. And then I changed the price to be a lot more reasonable because I realized that people were actually going to do it. <laughs> you know? But I was like, oh, oh, this is a thing people actually pay money for. I should not rip people off. <clears throat> oh god, that actually like genuinely caused me physical pain. I laughed so hard. <laughs> that was so funny. Can you imagine me playing a dating sim? What a fucking hilarious notion. What's the general games that I enjoy? Um, general games I enjoy... I like action stuff. In general. Actiony type things. I play a lot of Monster Hunter because of that. Um, like so, it's like games. I like roguelites a lot. I mean, I gotta start with Tyon. My man Tyon just makes me do disgusting damage here. It's such a freebie. I'm gonna s no, no. I can do it with this way. Do this. That's funny. Yeah, I kind of like most games, to be honest. I don't play horror because horror gets me in the type of, like... <laughs> it makes me fight or flight and I want to leave the room instead of playing the game, so I don't play horror. But other than, like, heavily competitive stuff, so, like, fighting games, League... Things like that, right? And JRPGs. I kind of play anything, really. I love Ace Combat. Um, I really enjoy Forza Horizon. I really like Monster Hunter. Uh, I'm playing Frostpunk 2 off stream at the moment, and I'm loving the shit out of it. <laughs> Not really that picky, to be honest. Hentai games are my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> does he have made free deals? He has a roguelike. How does that even work? <laughs> It does just barely. Oh, okay, it's one of those. Is he no free DLC is so good and short? I think a lot of the like goodness of the DLC would be lost on me. 
because of... I've not played Zero, 1 and 2, right? At least the big DLC, from what I understand, is kind of just like... It's the Zeta Blades you've already seen. Look at them. You love them. Um, and expanding the knowledge of that one. So for me, it would just be like, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And it wouldn't have the same emotional resonance. You know? They're probably really good. It just wouldn't be able to land. Yeah, I like racing in general. ETO. Um Yeah, Forza Horizons is the main main racing game I've played. But for um I've tried the more recent Need for Speeds, and they just don't quite hit it for me in the same way that the older ones did back in the day. When I was a little kitty, kitty boy. The most recent one seemed alright. But I'd rather play Frostman. What's Frostpunk? Frostpunk is a, um, it's like a city. <sighs> How do you explain what the fuck Frostpunk is? It's kind of like a city builder if the city builder was a survival game. A survival resource game. It's fucking weird, dude. It's great, but it's fucking weird. Oh yeah, reduce the physical defense. That'll be funny. Okay, I'm at 413%. <laughs> Just 200% extra for diminishing returns as well. That's so dumb. That's so crazy. Free DLC stories great, even apart from the fan service or returning ones. Without having played, you don't enjoy it to its fullest. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's not that the story isn't in of itself enjoyable, but you don't get the full, the full experience, do you? Which would be sad. That would be sad. That second hand copy was a fucking bargain though, huh? Nice. <laughs> that shit was actually like really cheap for how long this game is. How much was it? Like 25 quid or something? And it's in perfect condition as well. It even came with the box. I think you can see it at the moment. No, the way that I've turned the screen, you can't. There you go. It's right there. I think. Never seen this place before. Usually like 40 quid, yeah. Cabessi and Agnium once together. 
Oh, right, I need to not do that. That's the screenshot button. <laughs> How many screenshots have I taken of this game doing that? At this point. Shall we deal with this? Hey, you don't you don't want to do this, friend. You don't want to do this. Oh, you killed yourself. You don't even understand how badly you just fucked up. You will never comprehend. The sheer amount of fuck up -edness you just committed. Oh, even the big guy joined in. Cute. Oh, they're all aggroed onto me, huh? Let's do this. Just dodge. It's so easy. That piano goes really hard, man. I'm so glad I started playing this class again, man. You're the only one left, I got bad news. I got bad news. Tyon even got to go in the first round. Give me a break. Uni, you'd be an absolute beast. You fucking legend. Unfortunately, I don't have a good combo at that one, but still f***ing amazing. Do this. Because you can topple. And you get me over the threshold. Box art's good. The box art's very appropriate, I feel. Lock that back a little bit. I need to do a launch in here somewhere. I feel like I'm actually going to attack with you here. Just because I want your thing to be higher. And then you can do the launch. Yes. Exactly. ETR, that was my thinking. Even if he doesn't come back, he'll come back. This is a good time to say you're actually a bot made by Nintendo. <laughs>
But you haven't threatened to sue any of us when I said when we said things about the game being slightly negative based. You can't possibly be Nintendo. <laughs> I said one bad thing about the game. I should have had a cease and desist in the, in the post already. There's about seven of them. Streaming should have earned me a cease and desist. True. I had the audacity to stream that game. Nice. Straight to 351, huh? Damn, that must have hit hard. No, they paid me. <laughs> Technically. Mace paid me. That's not okay. They can't allow that, surely. I'm not Mace, so I'm Nintendo. I'm... I think Nintendo would make a bot that at least knew how to spell correctly, Mace. <laughs> Damage for a shot! Boom. Thirteen hundred. Good shit. Dare I say it? Easy. Right, I need everyone that is not the first two to change their classes. I would really like a Strategos. And it does make you an S. So Tyon is probably the strategos. Where better to monitor the battles than on healing duty? It's very appropriate, considering you inherited it. Consider TP. Yeah, no, him being a strategist is fine. TP problem is solved because of um, this lady. Me, Abby. I know it does, but it's also appropriate, right? Because it's not just a case of, like, they're, they're the ones who also inherited it. So, like, it's thematically appropriate, you know? Maybe make you this. You line him up, I'll knock him down. I might honestly just leave you as this. Yeah, I'm doing I'm doing four classes right now, Mace. So. <laughs>
Taunt Pulse is really good, though. I think I might just leave you as this, honestly. So uni needs to be a healer. Maybe the war medic. War medic guarantees that I have healing. Basically. And I got double anti debuff as well because of these two, I think. Oh no, stretch just can't do it, so I need her to do it. I'm thinking of um, Fermatesh. It seems like a pretty good squad. Flash Fencer, Lost Vanguard, Strategos, War Medic. And then Zephyr and Swordfighter just because they're um, the cannon classes and it feels appropriate. So we're pretending that Uni doesn't have a level 20 class. <laughs> Do I have enough breaks and stuff, though? I mean, I will do, I imagine. Because, uh... Well, actually, will I? You can get a break, right? I could make you a fisty cuffs instead. That would give you a break. You can have one if this is leveled up. You can have one if I level this up. They both need 10? Oh, shit, really? Okay. I don't think I've got enough then, yeah. I'll probably end up getting 9 more coins by the time- 10 more coins? Probably. Right, you two are already set up. No love loss. That is that. Dark banner for the sleep. I could also break within cursor here. Instead of the sleep seems preferable. So one break. I can't really rely on these two because I'm playing you. One break. That's another launch. And you really just don't have the thing that I need you to have, huh? <laughs> oh no, no love lost is physical damage, sad. The dummy. Make this one. Uh, multi blast. This is your highest damage, so this can be soaring tempest. And then I don't want moon dog. I do want. Maybe Ether Cannon? Oh, 
also maybe Shadow Eye. Just so you don't get aggroed. You have a topple and a launch. And I would give you a break as well, but I can't. This is all perfect. No slash should also be this one because it's break on the sides. Max Voltage can go down there for you to do more damage. This is the big hit, so... That seems good. So exactly the same. This then. So I have one break, one launch, one topple, two launches, two breaks, arguably three launches, two topples. Another break and a smash. I think that's more than good enough, to be honest. Another topple would have been nice, but... Hey. Reduces aggro. Uh, boost recharge. Yep. Actually, sure. Why not? E for outs do more damage. You could also have that. Honestly, those seem perfect. Yep. Boost damage, though. This crit of auto attacks, just because why not? Might as well. And then this. Perfect. Whoops. Not that, this. Yep. 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 One of the reasons Mia keeps dodging attacks because she's got busted agility. Miabi has a skill that gives 15% evasion party wide. Yo, that's so good. Miabi is really just perfect with Mio, huh? In so many ways. Nice.
Oh, can I actually fit it with these? I, I kind of just like what you've got, to be honest. Maybe not Snowdrift. Could get rid of that. That one is dead. Well, that allies accuracy and evasion as well. Jesus. Oh, so accuracy. That's really good. It is also because she has 300 agility. <laughs> this does more damage now than the blade, huh? Although the blade ignores defense, so it does do more. We'll forge our own way. If there's a time you're gonna wield that, I think now is appropriate. Honestly, think <laughs> excuse me. I don't know if you need this healing. I think I might rather that you have a higher chance to break people. I remember you saying it before, Etia. 25% is a lot. You heal for so much anyway. You're such a healing beast. I don't think it matters. Genuinely, I think you'll be okay. <laughs> yeah. You're so busted regardless. Sorry. I feel like this seems more beneficial. 7% physical defense. 16% more block seems preferable to me. I don't know, though. I'm gonna do it. Do I want you to have crit? Maybe. Five percent crit. It's all right. It's pretty good. It's about the same amount as it now it has. So, sure. All 
or Borussia. They'll actually have stuff now. Oh yeah, you can do that shit now. How you doing, right? <clears throat> How you doing? I must have got a lot of history done. Last time we hear Mio cry, probably, yeah. A new power, eh? Haven't learned either of them. Amazing. Check out the sick new skill. Check out the sick new skill. Whoa, new power. Whoa, new power. There we go. I think that's what everyone's rocking now. Oh my god. What kind of place is this? Last time menuing. Other than if I get 10 silver tokens. Then I'll probably give lands a break as well. <coughs> Because the more breaks, the better. Because it's the one that starts it, right? So. It's arguably the most important one. <sighs> yeah. I mean, if I run into any more of them, I'll we'll happily kill them. All of you to just assume that such a thing exists, Tyler. Yeah, it's sword attack, dummy. Oh, I got friggin' launched, man. They gotta help the player solve the puzzle. <clears throat> I 
the sad state of affairs if we need to be told to reverse things. <laughs> Honestly, Etia. Honest fucking Lee. Holy shit, that thing. <laughs> Welcome back, Mace. We just got out of the menu. <laughs> <All right. coughs> There's no way. Yes, wait. I put a lot of effort in. Because I wanted to make the classes good. I wanted to put myself in a good spot. And now I don't have to go into the menu again. I think I've given myself a pretty good setup. So. Hopefully no need to open it. Another time. Show sure, you? Sure. Kind of defeats the purpose of not opening the menu again, but... Nawa is cannon class, sword fire. It's got good damage and stuff. Good combos. Mio is thingy. The shitloads of agility. Uni is war medic. With a break and a break brooch to hopefully be better breaker. Tyons to Strategos so that I've got my regeneration on the floor and he's got a launch. Big man here is Vanguard. To be a good AoE tank with the Taunt Pulse and the Shield Wall. He's also just got a fuckload of health and tankiness. And he's got launch and topple. Senna's got a break and is Flash Lancer. Flash Fencer, sorry. I want to say Flancer, I don't know why. Just damage. And then I'm going to keep me Abby. Because I like me Abby. Allowing me to... Almost consistently all of the time get... A minimum of a 150%. Miyagi is cool. Miyagi is somewhat very different. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that, but hey, hey. It's wild that you can get a... Uh, this in the first bit now crazy well that heat build up makes a lot of fucking difference apparently The insta break. Fuck yeah. It's just broken, so do the topple here. And then it can get launched in a minute. Hey, 
just doing a lot of these to get. Um, actual experience. Because I'm still behind. I don't even have anyone that can launch right now. You can. Good. You know what? <laughs> Wasn't happy about that, but it worked. With the two people back, I should be able to do it. It was just a bit dodgy. She does so much fucking damage in that, man. The fact that it just straight gives regen is really powerful. Shame. Close. To 200. No, we're getting reactivated is really lucky. Unfortunately, have to do this. Smash at the end as a treat? I do. That's the whole game plan now, Mace. <laughs> now that I know that's on, on Noah... The whole purpose of all of the Ouroboros, uh, all of this shit, is to get to the Ouroboros round with as much damage mod as possible. To end with Noah smashing. It's the only point. That's literally the whole, the whole purpose now. Noah being really low TP in an attack is actually really helpful here as well. And if I can, I do this as well. Does it could have heads down? And then Noah does this. <laughs> it immediately gets 200% experience bonus. Which is more than the Ouroboros damage does. Another day. Is this like a rare thing? I fell to my death. <laughs> Dinged and then immediately died. I think I don't need to fight stuff. Unless it's going to be really annoying to move forward without fighting it at this point. Am I going the wrong way right now? No, I'm not. Uh. Is that L plus Y? I don't want to use that.
I want to figure it out. I don't want the game to just tell. Hey, can we take five? I've been craving some downtime. Do I even have this still up anymore? Cook it in the middle yeah, of the enemy done. base, man. <laughs> the absolute fucking audacity these people have is amazing. The fact that they just don't expect to be caught. This looks serious. I'll deal with you, you, I am gonna run past if I run into any people I've not fought in the future. I'll fight them. I've already fought you. We don't need to do this again. A world ending machine, yeah. You think you're all that, do ya? Oh, enemies! I'll hold them off! That thing I would have thought. You guys know. I wonder what's around here. Uh. Welcome back, ETF. Like there's a fucking sunset in here. Honestly. I hate the wasting part. Guess it's Back in time? Day. Does seem like it, yeah. About time, hey Noah. Yeah. I'll be depending on you, Lance, right to the very end. Who are allergic to red won't like this part. They definitely will not. You are correct. Hey, I'll fuck this guy up, sure. You wanna fight, big boy? Think you got what it takes? If only I could make the uh, the left side arts charge faster. Because it had break on it there. Oh, no, never mind. It's still got it. There we go. Good timing. Oh. This is over as soon as I get the thingy anyway. There we go, it's over. Bye bye, big boy. Noah, you failed me. Noah. Uni's got it. Uni's the best. Thanks, Uni. Get on your ass.
Up you go. Probably want to rock the physical defense down so that you can do more damage here. Even though you don't really hit for a ton. Hopefully, I can get 200%. Mm, she didn't get Reaper in. Noah, uh, if anything, I kind of want you in here. And then this actually is good enough. Thankfully. I wonder if I could actually get a full combo off with Smash twice. I probably could. Two mages and a Seek is enough for the Dragon of to start. You finally... Add the headspace. <laughs> nice, you do. Well done. Good. You didn't do it. You're at the point where it wouldn't be good for you anymore, Mace. That's a shame. Let's go down. Good. And smash. One mil smash. Yeah. <laughs> it's dumb, right? <laughs> I don't know if I ever said hello, by the way, Rafi, but hi. Good to have you. <laughs> it's, it's genuinely two-fifths of my entire damage. In the fucking combo. It's just the one smash. It is ridiculous. And if I really wanted to, I could probably get a double smash as well. If you're allowed to do that in combo attacks. In in chain attacks. I might be able to double smash. Depends if it's allowed or not. Over there. You'll be arrested. do this to her with all we've seen of mobius i put nothing past them thank you tyon finally have to release her yeah took you long enough i know that voice it's my it's voice dead. i know that voice it's me actually you probably wouldn't
look unwell. Like me. When you had us locked up. <laughs> Got my just desserts. Well, don't you look smug with my woman on your arm. Noah. Does this face really look smug to you? This what dude's entire plotline. It's just getting cucked. Poor Claude. You don't understand anything. You cannot have the queen. <laughs> she is the fulcrum of origin itself. By my very A bit awkward, you know? I will keep her from you. Well, that's not gonna happen. Our schedule's tight enough as is. And also, this is our queen you're talking about. So get ready for a right royal thrashing. You're effectively a part of Noah himself. We'd really rather not hurt you. But we will if we have to. Because if you get in our way, then Mobius or not, we're throwing out all the stops and then some. <sighs> Don't fool yourselves. Willpower alone won't change the world. We'll prove you wrong. You'll see. Watch. You cannot hope to win. I mean, they have a little bit more than willpower. They can turn into fucking mechs, my guy. Boy. Hmm? That's just your grief. What? It's called sadness. And <sighs> we came here. For you to honor M's wishes and to rescue you from your sorrow. To rescue me? What meaning does that tripe hold for me? Now that all is past, why should it matter? If you don't know, then let me teach you. I'll drag you with me <laughs> deep into the void. To the depths of despair. Special interest. Special interest is Mio. Remember? The fact that he's broken right now. Shade attack me. <laughs> like while he's broken, I can't avoid that chance, okay? It's a great it's a great situation. I wish it wasn't like this, but they designed the fucking game this way.
It's not like we won't have plenty of time to listen to it in this fight anyway, right? It's more appropriate for the never-ending spinning. It definitely is. <laughs> Fucking in the background. Okay, I want to see if I'm allowed to do this bullshit twice. I might not be able to get the break again because he has incredibly high break resistance, but... it again. <coughs> it's like I'm never going to find out now. Am I okay? <laughs> I don't know if I'm okay. Still covering for that first smash. I think it actually killed me. That first smash was so good, it actually killed me. Did you need to be that point by cutie? Was that necessary? Ta-da! God damn it. Get the break. Okay, I didn't manage to fill it off. Is it possible from a technical perspective? To uh, actually manage to do multiples? It is. Oh my god, that's filthy. I wonder if it's worth it though considering how hard it is to break most of the people that would have enough help for you to even be able to do that to. It's probably not. Instead, just leave them in launch the whole time. And then he gets immediately broken. But we can't smash him. He's getting cucked. Don't you understand this? Tell me, how could you murder the city's people? Just think, they were the lives of the Mega Souls is like Warframes. They do, yeah, actually. Kim, it's true. You're wrong. They were nothing but me. Grinding your edge G decos. Those are good. Yeah. They were superfluous for us Mobius living in the now. Furthermore, all those lives wouldn't have existed without me. As their original creator, I held dominion over their lives and deaths. Listen to yourself. Tell me, 
What about M then? What about the love Mio had for them? Mio. Mio, Mio, Mio! You're the one who could protect her! In the end, you were powerless. And now she's gone. How could you? Answer me! You really don't know. Don't you understand anything? <laughs> Took a little bit to know what's left. Why, M? Why do you keep punishing yourself like this? Like, five... Uh took the wrong path and then you had to walk it alone you just messed up you messed up royally <sighs> regret owns you what do you know if only I'd made the right choice if what happened hadn't clinging to the past obsessively just had to keep walking that path. And what you've become is regret itself. Really? And what does that make you then? I am. All of us. We're hope. They're hope, he says. Ha <laughs> What lofty heights of arrogance. Like some self-proclaimed savior. Not at all. They're the words of the one you held most dear. <gasps> That's her. Inside there. She felt regret. Just like you did. It's very good how they're slowly making the color come back to his eyes as well. And yet, she had hopes for the future. That's why she left everything to Mio. For shine, I guess I should say. This hope of yours. How can there be anything like it? In this world, there is nothing but the void. Peer now into it, and watch your precious hope crumble to nothing! I'm trying to tell you! That's just the sadness speaking through you! Oh, my healers are dead. I mean, I'm not doing this much damage from a fucking tank, am I? Is there any way I get out of this? I don't think so, unfortunately. Hold minus? Oh, that's handy, thank you. Kaya's the music? Hmm. There is no room for hope in this world. Only despair. You'll have a mess. You're a lifesaver. Give it up. You won't get the worst. Couldn't keep them in check. Come here. Oh, you're not good for you. You're a lifesaver. Give it up. Do it, Kaya. You are your aura. There is no future that lies before. Oh, man. 
Nope. Just need to dodge as much of his shit as possible. And then I need to do this now. Unfortunately. He's fucking tanky, man. <laughs> he is a tanky boy. He's a tanky, tanky boy. Uni. Damn it, Yuri. Oh, he's already broken. I didn't realize. need healing here. Uh, who has launch? You do, right? I think just leave launch. Don't try and be greedy for another one. Yeah. As long as I can get Neo back, this will be fine. If not, it's going to be a bit dodgy otherwise, I think. I mean, I still get through it, but... Uh... A 5% break, yeah. That was my... That was my assumption that it was going to be ridiculously high. You're probably not going to do enough for this to be useful, unfortunately. Oh, you actually did. Well done, lads. a wee bit awkward as well though, huh? At least Noah's going to have a really high um, damage rate when I finish with him. You know, this, this guy's got so much fucking hell. Oh, Mio's back. She does exist. She is real. Hey, human harvest. Hey, dude. What did you miss? For me to be 65 already. I leveled up everyone twice manually. And then I've been intentionally doing as much damage as possible 
uh, overkill with chain attacks. Which has got me five levels worth. Wait, he just died? What? <laughs> I just did five million damage. <laughs> My highest was two point eight, and then I just did five million. How? Because I just crit on a smash <laughs> with defense down. <laughs> <laughs> it's what she really wished for. <laughs> yes, that's right. Uh, I wasn't. I wasn't mistaken. When I tried to give her eternity, that was the correct choice. And you ruined it. Because you've changed. <gasps> you still don't understand. You were together so long. How can you not get it? She wanted you to go back. Back to the name Noah. She wanted you to call her by the name Mio. Why? Why are you the ones who get to stand there together in this world, edge to bleeding edge filled with sorrow? Perhaps we just got lucky. Got lucky? Trace it to chance encounters. I've met so many people. Lance, Uni. Don't include Shania. Senna, Riku, and Manana. My friends have been invaluable. She doesn't deserve it. And of course, I met Mio too. There's a very small difference between you and me. If I had been in your shoes, I'm sure I would have chosen the same. Shania was the person he met. We don't need to remember it though. Yeah. But not anymore. Mio and my friends. And not just them. But the other Mio. And the other me. Every person I have met has shaped me and changed who I am. Thanks to them, I can choose the future. Even if you do succeed at returning the world to its original form, there's no guarantee you'll live long enough to enjoy it. What about that? Do you still intend to persist regardless? Yeah, we will. We'll fight our way out of these ten years. That's all. Ed, you were just like us once. An Uruboros. Huh? That's alive, bruh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> one day, you gave up on it. And made the choice to protect the now. But you know, that's okay too. No, stop fucking... To this is why I don't like JRPGs. This man is heinous. I knew exactly what that meant. Mia. Won't you come with us? You could try to move forwards again. After so long. It's what you both wanted, right? Well then, easy choice. Killed an entire city. Yeah, but we'll redeem him, because why not? He is absolutely fucking heinous. Man. Cut his fucking neck and be done with it. But no, we had to let it so that Noah can live together. As well. With Mobius as part of him. What in the... He vanished. What exactly does this mean? Noah? Is he dead?
dead or what? You can understand it to some point. I can understand it to a certain point, but this guy literally slaughtered an entire city so that he could oh. He's fine. keep his fine what dead partner alive and trapped in an eternity with him when he she didn't even want to live with him anymore. Like, he's irredeemable scum. For now, let's do what we came for. Also, he sucks the life out of people in an eternal cycle of sacrificing human life to prolong his own life. Probably thousands, if not millions, have died because of him. Maybe you have a different perspective. Like, I understand him wanting to be redeemed at some small corner of your soul, right? always got back up again. A dream of young people simply trying to survive. And I can understand attempting to help. But there becomes a threshold all this time through the eyes of my simulacrum where you have to think the best thing you can do when you get the chance is just slit this guy's throat, right? Well done making it. Like, let's be real. The Queen of Agnes is already free. <laughs> now you are too. Let's be real. Now that leaves only him. You mean Zed? Yes. About Zed. He is not a person, but a concept. Concept? Everyone can feel uncertain, frightened. These feelings coagulated and then given a human form, or Zed. Unlike those people who are granted a Mobius body, he is a true Mobius. Sounds ominous. So he's not even an individual? He is, and he isn't. There is some Mobius within you, too. But perhaps you realize that. Your Ionios lies in frozen time, born from the Mobius wish that chose the endless now. So then. Average JRPG oh, on his way to redeem Mausadong. It feels like that, right? That's the problem. Hey, Anton. How you doing? Everything that exists is reality. Present lives. And future ones. Mobius aside, the wills of countless people persist inside of Origin. The sword of the end you carry and Ouroboros, they take their shape from these thoughts. Protect the now or carve a path to the future, the wielder decides. The future is undeniable, but you must realize your own. I've seen what you've done. You can do this too. But one more thing I, I mean, yeah, that was you. pretty apparent, folks. <laughs> Neo, Lance, Senna, Tyon, Uni. This world is yours. Further below this point lies the nucleus of origin. You will find Zed there. I shall return to the castle and free the soldiers from the flame clock's bondage. Otherwise, their lives will only feed Zed's power. Nice thinking, your majesty. Counting on you. Oh, uh, will you need an escort? I would think not. 
Might you have forgotten who I am? Riku, the secret badass. Awesome. Hey, Berserk. How are you? All right. This Common variety now, Pony. Yeah, exactly. We're all gonna make it through this. I promise. Yeah. This new world sounds like a blast. No. There's no way we can lose. We're strong now. <laughs> Just look how far we've come together. Dude, the real protagonist of this story is Riku Ramhard. Let's grab it. And hold tight. That fluffy little knock on bastard is the protagonist. The rest of these guys are just riding on his coattails, quite frankly. Really called it Gilgamesh, huh? God King Gilgamesh. Those fucking miniguns. Oh my god. Only destroy weapons on the outer rim. Noah and the others are heading for the core. Leave the middle intact. Screw that up, and we can't restore the world, right? Roger will cut. We ding. How oh, weird. Why did that mountain look like a giant frozen dragon? Because the like land is a giant frozen dragon, basically. Fossilized, I guess. If I understand correctly. Please give me a campfire at some point before the final bit. Actually getting to meet both queens. Isn't this crazy, Mimi? Too true, Sammy. Just a few months ago, it would have been unimaginable. I'll whack him good. You're gonna make me fight these jabronis? I'm gonna have to fight one of them. You are not gonna live very long, my friend.
There we go. We should be able to rest here. Let's rest and heal up. Why does it automatically put them to max level, man? <sighs> How far away is going to be my save point? Feel stronger. It'll probably be fine. It'll be after the battle at the very least, right? You said press plus before, mate, so I thought it let me level them up one at a time. <laughs> I was like, oh, Mace was saying plus before, so if I press plus, that would do it. <laughs> that was a joke. I don't know how the mechanics work. They ask for confirmation when you do single level up, but when you press both the buttons for max level up, it insta levels people. I didn't do it yesterday. I did it for a single person yesterday, not for everyone. Whoops, he indeed. The sword is from Xenoblade 1. Ah, I was really hoping the big dragon thing, like, wielded the sword in its mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been cool. I wonder what's around here. I hate the wasting parts. Actually getting to meet both queens. Isn't this crazy, Mimi? Too true, Sana. Just a few months ago, it would have been unimaginable. Let's rest and heal up. This seems like a good level to me. Considering he was level 68. Level 70 seems like a good shout. Stronger. Right then, should we get move on? I want to see all the sights. The ones from one or more humanoid, right? Hence, having a sword. No need to fight anything unless it's a, um, a fancy one. And even then, it's questionable if I need to do it or not. Can you stop being aggro to me, please? I can't tell where I need to go. Over there, cool. Bionis sword is the monado? I thought that was the thing that the dude would Monado? Monado? Let me 
it is. Spatial, racial, fucky wackiness going on with size there then. You gotta be like this, huh? That's <laughs> not a JRPG without God being in it. Hold on, just in case I can get a launch here. Nice. There we go. Now I can smash it now. There we go. Easy peasy. Thank you, Noah. Did they make me open this just to be like, how ah, you can't go here? Kind of feels like they did. Wait, no, what? You know what, I'm just going to keep following this way. I'm sure it's leading me in the right direction, maybe. <laughs> do not do that to me, guys. You and I both know that's a bad idea. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Bad ideas for yourself and bad ideas for me are different things, though. Also, Rip Noah, weaker than that guy. Rip N, sorry. Weaker than random giant mech dude in the bay. Weaker than this random guy as well. Kinda did him dirty, huh? <laughs> Horrifying. Oh, 
That seems like a lot. Pray you don't crash. Why on earth would you ever even tempt that into existence right now, Mace? please. Thank you. I'm so glad I don't have arachnophobia. Dead, yep. How many of these bad boys is there? Thoughts on what Melia said? I honestly can't really remember what she said. Is it as a concept? I mean, it was clearly some sort of like impossible conceptual being anyway right like some sort of deity or something he had to be he just has too much manipula manipulation ability oh good looks like we managed not to hit you monica We've been trying to aim for the highest energy signatures. Score one for us. Good call! You're not going back! Well, you know, I got curious and wanted to see the face of our real enemy with my own eyes. So, here I am. I thought I'd drop by, since the attacks wouldn't let up. And what do I see but you dead having a picnic? Gondor! The Queen? We got her out safely. It's just us and Zed. Prompted the start of the shooting, made a bit of point of no return. 
It's there because you lost access to Monica and Bumper. Oh, fair enough. What are you coming for? What for? Well, you know, the head poncho's bigging it up in there, ain't it? I got curious. Gotta see the big bad with my own eyes, right? <laughs> huh? You wanna clue me in on the joke? Sorry. Deja vu. Or something like that. Huh? That's why you cheer me, to be an Aussie, yeah. Thanks to you. Now I can say definitively, there are things in this world. We must protect. Okay, good. They didn't. They didn't change me, Abby. <laughs> I was like, if they force to quit one of these motherfuckers. <laughs> Got 10 coins? I don't think so, because I've been running past stuff. Right, I'm gonna fight these guys, aren't I? Is level 70 not even enough, man? Yeah, maybe I should just go to level 74. stop grinding it i i mean i have i've been running past everything i leveled up to 70 with my like manual experience because i was hoping it was going to be good enough for the final fight based on the fact that n was um level 68 I want to know the level of the final boss. No, because I'm assuming it has like 15 different levels. Because I already happen to know that it's a billion phases long. I knew that before I started. I lift, therefore I win. Actually. <laughs> Let's rest and heal up. I'm gonna go up by two more. Let's go fight regret. <laughs> I like that fight. Oh, it's a good game. I, I like that game. Stronger. Good game. We have to keep track of our progress. Everyone got their strength back. Hey, this one means business. 72's gotta be good enough. If it's not, I'm just gonna fucking eat it. <laughs> At this point, <laughs> I'm just gonna eat shit, I guess.
Just max it out if I die. I can't go much further. I can only go to 74. You're going to be the final one I do this to. Just because I'm already worried about the fact that there's level 71 enemies. After this point, I eat it. Everyone just joined it, didn't it? Yeah. I want you guys to kill this fucking thing as soon as you can. Thank you. Right, you're dead even from this health, it doesn't matter. Your health is irrelevant before the might of my ability to smash. <laughs> oh my. I mean, I'm going to be in this for a while, mate, so you could probably shower in that time, right? This going to go on for a little bit. As much out of this fucker as I can, so. <laughs> I doubt I will unless you take very long showers. Do I have a launch? Up you go. Oh, the physical defense didn't go through. Damn. Go 20 minutes? That's like one train attack, then. <laughs> it feels like one train attack takes that long, anyway. <gasps> guaranteed to give me free peep spec which is the good shit cannot get that defense down to save my butt here huh there'll be lots of yapping true lots of cutscenes holy damage Noah what the fuck my guy I need you. Yeah, this isn't going to be a ton, but this is worth it. Bye! <laughs> Do 
You watch the world back, you agree about instead of about N being irredeemable, the game trying to redeem people like him is one of the worst things for JRPGs. I accept it's part of the genre, right? Like, it is what it is, but... I find it very... It takes me out of it, you know? It makes it unbelievable when people try and redeem <laughs> truly reprehensible people. It takes me out of the game world a bit. So like even if you're a complete saint, you have all the patience in the world, even then, you're going to be like, that guy's fucked, right? 7 mil. Yeah, I, I don't even know how that did more damage because I accidentally smashed too early as well. Like, I actively fucked that one up. <laughs> Somehow did more damage. Focus on what this guy did. You love the tales of Asperius? Main protagonist so much, just said fuck no. Yeah. Like, I, I understand why they do it as well, right? It's like... High moral fiber of the protagonist. It's one of those things, like, even if you understand why it's happening, and there's, like, a law reason for why it happens, you just don't have to like it still. <laughs> Hey, Shredbanger Bean. Nice name. You are dead, right? Well, you can't have it. Lady, that's horrifying. You still think you're calling the shots here? I'll prove you wrong. Once and for all. <laughs> Lady? That is fucking horrifying. I see why you never transformed into your form until now. If my face looked like that, I wouldn't transform either. Question is, do I just chain attack to kill this lady? Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> they just launched. I can't not take that. That's a freebie, man. Get fucked. Wait, you're not launched? You were launched. This bitch. She did shenanigan, shenanigan by everything. 
Well, you're still dead. Someone did a last second smash. Aww. Oh. Well, she's fucked anyway. <laughs> oh, okay, now for so. Just immediate smash. No one seems like the type, honestly. <laughs> monkey see boom, a monkey smash. Oh, you showed up at the perfect time. You wonderful motherfucker. Well timed. Can you get away with this? Probably on a 53. Yeah, definitely. What if I'll do enough damage here? I mean, I probably will, but you know, 85, so I was very lucky. It was a 60% at that point, right? So, definitely on the lucky side, but not as lucky as you might initially think. Uni did it, yeah. Noah tried, no, Noah didn't even try. Uni just did it first try. She doesn't give a shit. <laughs> Because Yudi don't give a fuck. Why is she spinning like that? Because launch is the best mechanic in this game. If you launch someone, they just spin over and over again constantly. And if you're in a chain attack, they don't have the chance to recover from it, so they just spin the whole time. <laughs> they just spin. Mio's actually doing damage there while being attacked. Amazing. This lady's so fucking dead. This lady is beyond dead. Oh, bye bye. It's so dumb, man. It just ends every fight. <laughs> Ten milli! Tough. You don't even get a cutscene. Woof. That's how fucking irrelevant you are, lady. People say enemies don't have enough health. People need to realize that the problem is that mechanic needs to be removed. <laughs> I want to see all the sights. Time for a nice big break. Oh, good. Ratio to out of existence, yep.
I don't even understand how I'm doing more damage with every single thing that happens as well. Because, like, I'm doing the exact same shit every time. It's not like I'm changing stuff. Oh, I guess I'm leveling, right? The leveling makes a massive difference, apparently. Because that's the only thing that's changing is that I'm leveling up. And I did several million more damage because of it. You guys are really gonna make me fight you, huh? Things aren't really great when two people go straight into a intellect that quickly. Thank you, Spark. With all my evasion? Dude, the evasion's doing such work as well, though. It's extended by health by so much. Do this, switch to this. Welcome back, base. You did a miss X. She died instantaneously. <laughs> you did a miss much. <laughs> Got smashed hard, yeah. Mimi. And now we're about to smash this guy, potentially even harder. We'll end it here. You think you're a big enough man, Mobius wife? Do you reckon you have enough health to survive a single chain attack? Because you're looking pretty tanky, I'm not gonna lie. Question is, do you have enough? I'm pretty sure I just avoided the body trap move where it grabs you and throws you. <laughs> That's filthy. That's not okay. <laughs> oh, I should not be allowed this.
I'm not. Should I be greedy? I could have tried and be greedy. I sh I'm not going to be greedy. Being greedy is silly. It's not going to work. Be greedy. It won't work. What I can do instead is guarantee that I do more damage next round. The spinning is so funny. I know, right? <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it's like the biggest, baddest enemies in the game, and you're just like, it's spinny time. <laughs> And smash. I didn't get uni back, which honestly fucks with my everything so hard right now. X had 4.75 million HP. I did 10 million damage to her. <laughs> cool that overkill, yeah. Just a little bit. Uni's back. Okay, good, 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 good. No, the lady didn't turn up. Oh, man. Uni, please. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> It's also probably got an 85% chance to not be able to do it, so. It's not surprising, but fine. Can you launch? Okay. You break. Got to have it. I'm sad now. He will, in fact, survive a single chain attack. He got lucky. He got lucky that I got unlucky, otherwise he would have been done zoned. To be fair, I did also greed for two smashes. Although I would have got it if I just got that extra round. A mere 2.6 million damage. very unfortunate because I just pressed the button to do the dodge. I wanted to try and kill him without going into the next chain attack if I could. I'm 
also starting to think that might take just an unreasonably long amount of time. Whoopsie. Didn't mean to do that. No, who knows? Maybe Noah will, uh... Oh no, all of my healers just died. You motherfucker, no! If I can get the chain attack up, I might be able to kill him. Even with the healers down. No! No! Okay, I just need to believe. I just need to believe really hard. <laughs> to one health, Noah. Noah, that's not good enough. <laughs> that's not much you can do when he just insta-kills all your healers. <laughs> Attack is kind of complete ass, though, I'm not gonna lie. The insta smash? Holy shit, nice one. That was no time at all. Which one? Where he just spins like a lunatic. That, while he was in rage, is what insta killed all my healers. Hoping that's quick enough. It was not quick enough. I'm just gonna have to try and get it then. Just gotta try and make it happen. On you, uni. Fuck. 
found me, you know. It's a 90%? Oh my god. Good. She'll get it eventually. Hopefully, maybe. Potentially. She's she's active again. Failed free forty percent uni. I'm disowning you. Do you know? You don't have shit. Oh well, no smash. This woman will be the one that breaks. Yeah. I can still do this, actually. Um, if I do this now, I will be able to use him again. Which means it does work. But it's kind of fucked the whole shtick over a bit. learning the alphabet now? What do you mean now? We've been learning the whole game. you not been paying attention, Eugene. You've not been learning with us. Naughty Eugene. Oh! oh! <laughs> I literally just need to play Chain Attack. I don't need to play the game anymore. I just play Chain Attack. Not ending anytime soon. Dion? Don't say that, my man. It's a ridiculous amount of damage. You know what the scary thing is? About that dawn? That's half as much damage as I did in the previous one. In the previous, um. Trade attack. I only did 5 million instead of 10 million. Only in quotation marks. Yeah, time to change the world. Yeah, you got to that one a little bit too late, most.
You did not get to that one too late. Although, as soon as that popped up, I would have saved anyway. 73. Pretty good. 10 coins, doesn't matter where we're going. I haven't picked up 10 coins though, no. Sixty hours, yeah, on the dot. Basically. You ready to smash every single phase of this boss fight? <laughs> <laughs> We smash after smash. No, oh, you're still alive. Come on now, you lot. It's time for Colony Four to show off its fangs. It's like a hundred on your first for all the side quests and stuff. Yeah. I did a lot early, but then kind of stopped. Oh, sorry, boss. It's just the engine's conked out and won't start. Well, then kick the mother till it does. You gotta be firm. Really give it some elbow grease here. Sir, that's insane. This is a delicate instrument. <laughs> delicate? My ass! Whack it! Smack it! Show me who's fucking boss! I'm telling you, you can't just kick it and. Well, looky here, guess I'm the boss. <laughs> is this a joke? <laughs> to him. Now's the time to show him how we shine. Come on, full throttle. Can't let the other colonies steal our thunder now. Where are we? Right the cinema. Why the fuck does he look so old? I guess being in war ages you. <laughs> they found him. At last. He's dealing with all of Ethel's shit. Time is it now that I and you have confronted each other here like this? Yes. You're welcome to come on up. How many incarnations? How many ascents into the spotlight? I know I've said this every time. Your horns have impeccable style, my friend. Im fucking impeccable. And once again, I shall endeavor to ask this of you. Tell me, why not resign yourself to the flow? It's unfortunate. Sounds like my memory isn't all that. You have come to stop. The I'm in. <laughs> Deal, thanks. This march of time stilled for eternity. You intend. Oh no, the dude can fuck off. I just want his horn. So is it flowing or is it stopped? You're not making any sense, mate. Basically, if we can take you down, the world kicks up again. At least, that's what I'm picking up from all that. Human desires can be much likened to a river flowing. All humanity yearns for it. The endless now. That is why I'm here, your pie. My existence alone, it is proof and evidence. Cut the crap. Who in the world would possibly wish for this? I refuse to be controlled by you. Although, thanks to the stunts you've pulled, we managed to twig onto a whole lot of stuff. We learned how best to use the time we had. And for that, you get a real good thanking. You said it. Her ten years is a mere glimpse. We now know the importance of true choice. We'll build it for ourselves. 
A world with the freedom to choose. Not a hollow world of fiction like this one. Everyone wants a reality that they can believe in. Freedom is nothing more than fiction. A deception. Those with power, those who can choose, think nothing of it. What then of those who cannot choose? What about the meek and frail? Not everyone is granted as many options as you are. They really just dunk on Yoren every chance they get her. Dude, did you just see Yoren that you showed in the background? The only thing we ever do is take lives. There is no winning. You can't say there's no losers. Why do you recoil from taking lives? The world itself has set this rule. Why resist? Actually, you said it, technically. It is through consumption of life that this world persists. That's kind of odious. Denying it is self-delusion. The only outcome, self-destruction. No, they made an arc. It is unequivocal fact. Nope, it's it not actually. It is intrinsic to all living things. The source of our power and of all Your power. things lies therein. Young, spirited people, trading lives, aiming for new, ever loftier heights with each new day. Can we attack this guy? That explosive motive power is something we lack. Dude's been half in his own farts for so long. Life. He can't even think properly anymore. We are here to express ourselves as an embodiment of life. Actually, no, we're here to kick your ass. Why are you even get angry now? You're just gonna forgive him anyway. It's because it amuses me. Oh. Hey, there you go. He stopped huffing his own farts. He actually started speaking some truth. The action-packed drama of your lives. Oh, that that order was definitely doable, Summers. <laughs> it's, it's on the bug front. No, you won't. Got it. Huh? Fighting in order to live. The words me Abby left me with. Now, this is exactly when they were four. Yeah, Mio's got it right. At first, it was all fun and games. When we got Ouroboros powers, we were just like happy to get to live a little longer. That was it. But now, things are different. We learned that for many. There aren't any choices on the table at all. Because they were taken from them by a bunch of crusty old mutters. The strength you talk about is all just smoke and Problem the terminus aren't attacking. I mean they will. In two days, there'll be one. Knowing when to be close and when to let go. Walking together. Eventually choosing who you really are. I love those two just in the background. They're here.
trivial to me. Now then, the curtain rises. You defy me. Oh, I ended up higher level than you, huh? That's no aggro. Chain attack does not override this monster's team. <laughs> it's not allowed to use it. You think he does have aggro? It's hidden. Oh, okay. Well, he does have a visible aggro, which is a very neat detail, anyway. Let the stage of battle freeze your marrow. Right, positioning is harder. Inconvenient. Nope. Yeah, it'd be great if some of you fuckers would heal me. <laughs> Where's the regen aura? There it is. Son of a bitch. Helps are looking good. Is that going to be Tick? Behold. You want to Here goes. Come on, you defy me. You I can't tell. Seems like it might be taken specific parts, maybe.
I'm just not gonna stand at that shit, man. <laughs> I'm not that dumb. I wonder if it did have tick, but the fact that we have regen just outdid it. God damn it. That's happened to so many friggin' times now. Oh, that need time for help. I'd rather be on the other side of the rest of the squad, otherwise whenever I get attacked it hits all of them. Fucking Miyabi is so up my butt that she just keeps dying. I know, I know. It's just ironically it's getting her killed rather than helping her. I get the distinct feeling we should maybe not be standing in front of him anymore. Yeah, he keeps dying. <laughs> so she's there. <laughs> she just gets fucking destroyed by an attack and then she gets back up again. Fuck a duck. You giving me a chain? That would have been amazing if he broke then. <laughs> I didn't expect it to happen because I didn't expect it to be possible, but it would have been fucking amazing. <laughs> he probably has um, like 150% resistance or something just to ensure you can't do it.
1050 <laughs> just for good measure yeah i thought that would be the case is he healing the damage i'm doing He's healing for a portion of it, but it's not as much. Although, is it? Actually, I don't know. Oh, your shield's gone. Oh, okay. <laughs> I shall observe carefully what you would term your strength. Man says, fuck you, I have a shield. <laughs> Uni and Tyon say, fuck you, no you don't. we are, Tyon. That we are. No shield. I see. You would grow strong enough to withstand adversity. Put it back on, see what happens. It's fine, she's here with us. Me and Noah's scene is about Mio, but Mio's is about her girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Never guess what's gonna happen to your shield here, my dude. Ooh, 
beautiful. I can hardly believe that your strength has grown thus. You would usurp me, grasp the future. I cannot assent. The curtain <laughs> closes. Literally dead in the cutscene. Thanks to the Abby. <laughs> oh, he's he's breakable. Oh, he's killable. You're gonna get smashed. You're gonna get absolutely fucking punk. To my dude. Yes, stay. Chain attack, stay. Yes. He's fucked. <laughs> if he's not health threshold right now, he's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I am fucking inevitable, my man. You cannot stop me. The only way you get away with this is if you're fresh holding. Where the launch go? Oh, I used it because he's going to get slashed twice. <laughs> you thought he was getting away with one? He ain't getting away with one. Maybe... You know, maybe I try and do three. Is that greedy? It is when I do the wrong button. Maybe I just do free. How about that, bitch boy? You're dead. And I'm not even done. You defy me. Uh, you're fucking done. You are so done. Break. Well done. It's okay, you can topple because the hero could end the combo. You're gonna launch next turn. The hero ends right now. It means I get someone back who's not a healer, which means I can finish it next turn. Doesn't matter that only one person comes back, that's fine. Oh, it's even Noah. Hmm. Hey, guess what? <laughs> You're spinning, boy. <laughs> they never should have given me this power. They never should have allowed this. This was a mistake. It 
<laughs> oh, you guys have to start. I guess what? Defense down. Oh no, I didn't get defense down. I guess I'll just uh, defense down again. Perfect. I'm pretty sure that just did 900,000 damage. If not more. Uh, yeah, just a little bit, buddy. I think what we're doing goes beyond defying you. I think the word might be defile at this point. <laughs> Actually, 8 million damage. <laughs> this is all a sham. Wonderful. Phase one's pretty free. That was incredibly free. As soon as the chain attack come back, he didn't stand a chance. Is this Zed's true form or origins? Why do this? Huh? Y'all like it? If you restart origin, time in perpetuity will flow once more. Yep. Planets are gonna crash. The opposing worlds will overlap. What lies beyond is oblivion. No, they made a note. Told you this earlier. Yet even knowing it, you advance toward the future. Yep. Why? They made an arc. Why? <laughs> Let me turn it around for you. How can you be so sure? There should be a future where it doesn't happen. No such thing exists. Make everything of the arc work, if that's his point. I mean is all we need. So be it. That is our unyielding wish. It's better than this shit. I need the hero, boy. Well, the arc's probably not gonna work anymore because he just cut it in half. Hear me, my loyal subjects. Starting imminently, we shall commence a full attack on Origin. The battle is not a fabrication. 
It is a fight to seize control of our lives. I need you now. Entrust your lives to your rightful queen, Melia Antiqua. Ah! <laughs> they do have a bit of a hard on for mechs in this game, don't they? now inside Origin. There are people fighting against all odds to create a future for us all. Those brave ones, they want to teach us the true meaning of life. For the future they dare to forge. Let us join the path that they showed us. Let us join the fight. Just come out on top today. Commander, we'll do it. We'll build it for you. A new world for every one of us.
your debt across the centuries. Nonsense. Don't mention it. I simply did what needed doing and entrusted the rest to the right people. I see that you're still affecting that elocution. Oh my, it befits me not. Do not hide your stripes. <laughs> All right. Then let's thrash those bones, Melia. Gladly. Together. just how scary taking the first step can be. And yet, it was young folks like that that set whole worlds in motion. Overcoming their own fears. The Queen Lay Axe falls apart, yeah. Now I get it. The true source of power from which Mobius stems. And why they so desperately seek the endless now. Yes, I think I see it too. Mm. What the Queen said. There is some Mobius within us as well. Yeah, and it's our own selves. We're scared of ourselves and we lose track. We cut off our own way to the future. The possibilities. In that case, there's only one thing we can do. To believe in the path we've walked this far and in the future that lies ahead. Cut. I, I don't want to say it here, Eugene. I don't want to just feel like I'm ragging on the game at this point, you know? It's not nice to do. <laughs> what you're thinking? Yeah, I agree. When I play a game, I want to play a game. There's nothing wrong with having 
cutscenes to like tell bits of your story going on and stuff as well right but i want to play the fucking game <laughs> Every time we do something in-game for like five minutes, we get half an hour of cutscenes. This is the climax of the game! You just gave me a 15-minute cutscene in the middle of it, man! And like, to be honest, in my opinion, it added fuck all. <laughs> you mean the guys who we've been fighting with the whole time and you've shown me the same cut of the Agassi, the Agnian troops and the Kavesi troops shooting those shots, by the way? Third time we've seen that. Um, reuse cutscene. Why do I need to see that? Like, as horrible as it sounds. Why do I need to see that? You know? You die, you start from the beginning again. Everything's unskippable. <laughs> Amazing. Oh. Definitely don't lose then. I don't, I don't want to be mean to this game, man. Because it's like... It's there. It's so nearly... Like, amazing. I truly believe that. I don't think this game respects your time. Personally. And that really upsets me. It's fan service because they're fighting too. It's so easy though. <laughs> oh, it's so easy. Like I'm not annoyed at you, right? But it's God forgive this bit of profound fucking knowledge, right? It's a video game. Show me that they're fighting in the background while I'm fighting this guy. It's so easy. I'm with you. It's so easy! Just put some like over the over the normal noise volume voice line of Noah and Mio being like, oh, it's... Are those the castles? Nia and Melia must be fighting along with us. It does the same shit. Don't worry about it, I know. I just find it very frustrating, because there's a game here. There's a game in this game that I truly love. It's why it's so frustrating, you know? There's a game in this game that I really fucking enjoy. And every time I start to see a glimmer of it, they shit all over it. <laughs> Obviously that's drop <laughs> overkill <laughs> a bit too much, but <laughs> Drop the ball sometimes. They drop it more often than the, like, carrying it, though, for me. But a lot of that's maybe just I don't like JRPGs, right? That's why I don't want to be mean. I don't feel like it's fair for me to talk about it. But.
It always hurts more when you want to love it. Always hurts more when you want to love the thing that you're playing. What about I've born an epic circus scenario here to end the trilogy? Yeah, I mean, maybe. Maybe. I don't know, man. Stop thinking? I can't stop thinking because everything takes so fucking long to kill, Mace. I got nothing to do but think. Why did I do this? Oh, yeah. Because for some reason this happened. And I want to take advantage of it. Because it might just straight up end the face. He doesn't spin heresy, honestly. Unacceptable. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, that's probably why they didn't do it because of the hair.
The music's very nice. Great uplifting. I think I've got it. Me? Fighting against, you know, Grey Rod. It doesn't even feel like fighting against Grey Rods that much. It's just like determined uplifting. Which is interesting. Yeah, they did have China Attack ruin it. That's a good point. A little more. Always has been. I haven't been able to hear the sound design a lot of the time because of China Attack. Or because I've been too busy laughing about you creaming over the music instead of me actually listening to the music. Well, I've killed this guy at least. I'm with you. The I've never played Persona, but Persona does seem like it would be uh, very hard to replay for sure. Maybe it seems so great, but you barely hear them, yeah. I'm with you. Yeah, they just end. Overkilling God for the second time. <laughs> Don't forget that we're overkilling God for the second time. <laughs> Rocky, my comps balanced. <laughs> I wanted to give them all classes that they originally were. That's why I put them the way they were. They might not all be their original class, but they're, they're their original class archetype. Just felt appropriate for the final fight, right? Chance. 
I swear I just saw an aggro line for a second there. Maybe I didn't. Oh good, you're here. You owe me one, okay? If you think you can interfere, then you have misassessed me grossly. And yet you will make not a shred of difference. Pretty sure you just help me work out the We've already interfered. Been interfering for a while by now, my man. I don't think you get to say if you if you believe you can interfere at this point. Oh, me Abby's here. What? <laughs> the fuck? So whenever I use mine, but why? I mean, like, make them use it. Yeah, cool, but <laughs> don't give me the cutscene. <laughs> it's just unnecessary. I don't mind the talent art I can't seem going off. That's fine. I just don't understand why it's showing it me for the... <laughs> Not the unimportant characters, but the extras, right? Ha! 
That's kind of funny. Ninety percent resist. Ninety percent resist doesn't matter when you've got a uni. A little more. Leave it to uni. Leave it to uni. Couldn't have said it my better myself. You go. You're gonna come back down as a corpse. Hope you don't mind. Uh, this will be fine. Am I sure? No, probably not. At this point, I'm I'm clocked out of this fight. To be honest, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm clocked out. I really liked his character design, and then they just turned him into a giant float head. Which is <laughs> really upsetting, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Like, the hair looks cool, sure. The music's great. I d honestly, I don't agree. I, d I don't think this is that cinematic. Because it's so overdone. Like, first Flay's floating head, it was kind of cinematic, yeah. After that... Nah. The Z phase was really good, yeah. The Z phase was really good. The first floating head phase was a choice that I wasn't really sure about, but it was, it was alright. It looked visually cool. And then it kind of went a bit downhill. My opinion. You liked everything up to? I actually really like the idea of splitting the squads into their original parts. And then bringing them back together. I liked that, but then they made the random characters who weren't here join in, and I'm like, that's cute for the sake of, like, representing them. Right? But kind of destroys the point of splitting the groups into their respective halves, because now they're not anymore. And it would have been cool if they'd shown, like, they can stand on their own as well, rather than... Them sort of still needing help. Oh, it didn't even get smashed. Okay. 
is immune to smash, I guess. It's gonna be a long one, huh? Eight point five million health and health gated as well, presumably. From the fact that they just made a big deal about the fact that he switched sides in a cutscene. To explain what I mean, by the way, this is a good a good moment. About showing that people are helping us without having the need for the cutscene. Right now Why is the Agnian or the Kavesi ship in the background? Just like a mainstay piece of the background. Perfect way to show that we're being helped by our allies without having to do like the cutscenes and stuff, right? And then it makes sense for him to swap side because then the Kavesi side is helping us. And then when he swaps back, the Agni into helping us again. You know? And then it still doesn't have the like, only the chosen ones are able to do anything. Because whenever he swaps sides, like the Agnian castle, which has its own benefits, can be shooting at him from the background and... Then he swaps back to the other side, the Kavesi one starts doing it, and all of the colonies are doing their things instead. Shooting away and doing damage and whatnot, you know? Did you guys even do anything? <laughs> Elf wise? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Okay, same thing's happening here, presumably, by the fact that that just happened. Every time I do this, one of them two's gonna do their thing. Yep. 
I honestly don't want to use chain attack. Not because of chain attack itself. I'm worried I'm just going to get health gated and not do anything. Because they just keep interrupting this fight with other things. <laughs> You know what's kind of a wonky thing to say right now? I think this game... Oh, don't know what that is. Might have been better if we lost. For me. It wouldn't have been a very satisfying conclusion to the story, but man, would it have been badass. If when they were captured, we just died. Yeah, yeah, most people would have, nice, for sure. It's really Andrew the Foxy, yeah. Oh, true, it's a trilogy. Yeah, they can't really do that, it's a trilogy. I keep forgetting this game isn't standalone. I do brain find button press yes good no maybe yeah Didn't get the lady appearing. Oh well. Oh, why didn't let me smash him now? You didn't let me smash him earlier. The fuck? Because I got health gain and blocks reactions. That's so Crazy. upsetting. This is the force of people's will. You taking the mic? It's terrifying. Not knowing how tomorrow will turn out. How you will. But still, you can't just hold it in place. If you did that, you'd never change. You can't change the world like that. That's why I want to move on. We'll claim the future and shape it ourselves. And when you cannot choose, what then? In that desperate moment, we'll all be there to soothe you. 
You realize there's six of us, at least, right? they really just end the final boss with him having a temper tantrum? Like a petulant toddler? <laughs> Probably easier. Oh. That looks like it was made in... Like, really dodgy Windows 2000 program. forth from hope. Regret is our be-all and end-all. If only we'd made the right choice. If only things had been different. Blindly, we never try to change ourselves, wishing only that the world would instead. We clung to the egotistical dream of being together forever. But that's only natural. Anyone would wish for that. Nothing to be ashamed of. Thank you. But now, our prolonged existence here, it only serves to strengthen those within this frozen moment in time who would keep it thus. So you see, we have but one choice here. What you see over there is not Zed or Mobius, but a single, intense desire. Your thoughts, they can never affect a desire. But we, we who embody that very same desire. You can just stay here! Please, stay! Walk this world with us! We can walk it together! Noah's right! You've done enough! You don't have to do this! You could finally be here together! Such kindness. Your eyes, they brim with it. I ask myself, were our eyes the same on that day? Believe in yourselves, all of you. You'll certainly reach heights that we were unable to. You guys can surely make it. You can take our place in the future.
And in the end, we didn't even really win. Zed and the other Mobius. They wanted to protect the world, too. That's why they created one they could control. I see where they were coming from. That's something that we feel almost every day. Having to change. To continue to change. That's sparking scary. But we can say this. Even if we are reborn later, right then, what we think and feel that moment is real. To sacrifice that is never the right way. If you can't be true to yourself, then you're doing something wrong. Are you content with your decision? Very soon, the stilled flow of time will restart. You can change your mind if you act now. Stilled? You did not just tell us to become Mobius. Yeah, can you even imagine? Uh, Noah? Why are you wavering, Noah? Some want to go on, and some want to stay. In this world, there are so many mingled desires. But do we? Does anyone have the right to choose? Oh, don't you start minding us now. Just having the chance to be born in that world you made, that'll be plenty. So, you know, you just gotta do it your way. Gondor. Uh, though if I can, I might want a better name, eh? Noah, all of us here want the same thing. It's how the future should be. Yeah, you're right. The future is right there. Believe in the actions you've taken, in your friends. And above all, you should believe in yourself. Well then, the answer's simple. Come on! Ain't got all day! Yeah. I know. 
Right with you. I realize there's something I haven't said yet. Oh, yeah? I haven't thanked you. What's this now? Thank you for sticking with me. Without you by my side, I'd never have made it here. Oh, come on. You had to say that? I'm serious here. I know you are. Huh? Listen, Noah, I feel just the same. Without you, I think my wishes would never have come true. I see. I guess so. Hmm. So I'll say it too. Thank you, Noah. Truly. We weren't half bad as a team, were we? Yeah, a uh, passable, for sure. Just passable. I'm sure you meant unsurpassable, right? <laughs> I'll let you decide the passing grade, Lancey. Ah, uh, come on, you weirdo. Guess we won't be working out together anymore. Yeah. I'm not keeping tabs, but don't you slack off. I am not gonna slack off. I'll train every day, thinking of you. Yeah. Same here. What's this? A herbal tea recipe. You have to dry your own leaves. You should manage. Dude, none of this makes any fucking sense. Kind of pointless. Pointless? I mean, if the worlds are gonna drift apart again, this paper won't last. <laughs> hmm? I considered that, of course. The paper and the ink, it all comes from your world. And the leaves for the tea? Even those and all. What do you think? <laughs> we'll check you out. Scrupulous. Who? Well, you're my best bud. Fourth best, to be exact. Only fourth? Huh. Wait a minute. There's Noah and Lance. And did she count your rank? Huh. Why am I only listening, guys? J just chill out, Tyon. Um, uh. What's up? Is there a problem? Well, uh, at least put me second or even third. Fourth seems a little harsh. <laughs> This one makes sense. It is time. Guess this is goodbye. Yeah. Still, even if we're worlds apart, I swear I won't. I won't let go. Not ever. I'll always be with you. Our feelings. Forever interlinked. Wherever we are. Yeah. Wherever we are. Have I greatly misunderstood the entire point? When the worlds collide. Our worlds in their current states are still young. If in passing, they do themselves harm. I suppose even then they cannot but carry on. Became separated for a time. One day we'll surely get to walk hand in hand again. Everyone, thank you. Go back to their own first because the world's falling apart.
I don't understand. We slide it. Could <laughs> you have that be a little bit more dramatic than just. I love the fucking like dodgy <laughs> graphic tears on Riku. That's fucking amazing. stretch out before us so many paths which do you choose that's up to you sometimes you might run astray you'll stop maybe cry in frustration but you know that's all right for the roads they go on without end so look up, face forward, toward your chosen horizon. Not really, to be honest, Eugene. Just... Not any more than I normally am. I don't want to be mean to people who like this game. That might be the worst fucking ending of any game I've ever experienced. Genuinely. That might be the worst ending I've ever experienced. Oh, that's cute that the voice actors are listed for the um the Mobius guys. How so? <sighs> Dude, I could write a whole video essay on this game. The build-up and release is done incredibly poorly for Chapter 6 and Chapter 7, in my opinion. They build up and release to Chapter 5 incredibly well. Masterfully done, right? The build-up, it's slow at the start. It builds up a bit when you get to the city. They teach you how the city works. The guys learn the meaning of life. Chapter 5, you have the weight of death nails it it then destroys its own storytelling by reviving Mio and then it only has a chapter to build up again which doesn't go anywhere really like it doesn't really get it doesn't have the time right it's not even a fault of the fact that chapter's bad or any it just doesn't have the time to build up properly unless you do a lot of side stuff 
then it would get it. Uh, and then the final boss fight, which you try to get towards, destroys everything about the game that's beautiful. Wonderful locales, the music remains, but the wonderful locales, the good character points and all that stuff, like good character designs, it removes them all and replaces them with bland purple enemies with black armor and black weapons. The locale changes to a purple and black monolith structure rather than this beautiful vistas and all of these wonderful locales. The music is top notch. No. And then you get to the, fi the final boss fight. The first bit's really stylish and well done with him like changing the area and changing all that stuff, right? But it drags out because he's got a shitload of health. And then the second bit they take his really like snazzy character design with his horns and stuff and turn him into a giant head he's a giant floating head <laughs> like what <laughs> why but i mean all right if that's where you want to go sure understandable i'll stop until the advert ends because i don't want people who aren't sub to miss Especially since Silvanara, who asks the question, isn't so. Ending kind of relies on knowing the trilogy. Yeah. Chapter 6 is regarded to be relatively weak. It's not It's not great. It's not terrible, though. They did climax too early. Yeah, they, they climaxed through chapter 5. And then they didn't give it time to build back up again. I genuinely think this game would be better as two games. Okay, adverts have ended. Um, you fight the giant floating head. Sure, you know, whatever. They then split you into two teams, the original teams from each side of stuff, which is good. It's very nice. But then kind of make it so that you force lose because they split your group apart and you have to get help from the other people which I know is meant to show like everyone coming together and beating the evil together rather than apart but the fact that they essentially make you do a force loss to have it happen unless that's just because I died who knows right that's a very poor way to do that in the first place As opposed to showing that the characters have grown throughout their journey and are able to stand on their own as well as other people. You know? But then they merge back together. And you're still fighting, fighting a floating head. It's been a floating head for like three separate phases now. And they floating head again for the fourth time you do it. Which is really kind of like it's lost its gravitas at this point, right? It's just... Great, it's a floating head. Your chain attacks are limited early on, and if you have what happened to me, where you get health gated, then you just don't think smash works, and you don't bother even doing the chain attack again. Because you do more damage outside of the chain attack than you do in it. Other than the fact that you're safe. You just don't. <laughs> so that's, like, bad design, in my opinion. Um, And then they make, like, a big... Hurrah of it just teleporting from here to here. And they have a whole cutscene for that instead of it just blinking out on the screen then blinking over again. Like, there's no reason for that to not be in-game. It's just bad. The whole thing I was talking about earlier with, like, you can show that people are helping and that everyone's fighting as part of a massive squad without them interfering on the battlefield. Why isn't 
when it's moving from side to side, which it does in game, it just disapparates and then reappears behind you, right? And you have to turn around and run over. Um, and then maybe the edge of the arena starts creeping towards you and there's like a damage tick that really hurts, so you have to run over towards it. And then the Agessi, uh, sorry, the, the Agnian or the Kavesi tower, the castle is there, doing damage. Giving you different field effects when it's there, maybe healing you more for the magically oriented Kavesi side with the Queen. Doing more damage for the Agnian side because Nia's in there instead. With her fucking swords, you know? Maybe have the city fly around and just randomly do some pot shots, some damage and stuff. But they force it into this like really tightly scripted, not good fight with massive cutscenes that ruin your like immersion in the fight because they take away your flow. In order to do like fan service -y type stuff that obviously for me doesn't land because I haven't played them. But it ruins the flow of the fight. Yeah, the pacing exactly. And then I maybe I just misunderstood the story. But as as far as the post credit stuff, not the post credits, the ending stuff goes. I think I might be about to get in post credits here. The worlds were colliding. So maybe they have to go back to their own worlds first and maybe they won't make it or something. But like... <laughs> Assuming they survive, which is kind of their hope, what right? Doing, man? They'll meet each other again. Spots will be taken. Exactly. So come on, move it. Sorry, I zoned out for a sec. I'm coming. Is that that? Cool. So obviously, the worlds are going to collide. That's the problem that the game has set up. And they're going to go back to their respective worlds. But then they're going to smash into each other, right? That's what the whole story has shown. They're going to smash into each other. Origin was needed to make it so that people were able to be, like, brought back via clones or whatever. And then put into the world again. So... Maybe they'd lose their memories or something? In theory, at that point, they're going to be on the same world. Because they've just smashed back into each other. Because what they said before was there was there was one world, it split into two worlds, and now it's smashing back together as one world. That's the way they explained it earlier in the story. Yeah. 
yeah, we don't know what happens exactly, right? But <sighs> I don't like. I don't know how to enunciate this in a good way. Like, it split them apart physically at the end put them back into their own separate worlds for the uncertainty of their worlds just crashing into each other and everyone dying anyway or maybe the arc works like why why physically split them it doesn't make sense to me other than just to have like an emotional scene of them running towards each other the tie on uni thing. I skipped some side quests. Other than being inside of each other's, like, mental status, I felt no romantic attraction between the two of them at all. So, wherever the fuck that came from, I have no idea. <laughs> at all. I must have just missed that. Um. Senna and Lance, I can see being really, like, close bros, basically, but I didn't really see a romantic thing there either, so maybe I just missed that as well. I don't, it just felt so forced. I understand the uncertainty is what they're on about, but, like... I don't it's just not satisfying. <laughs> it's just not satisfying. Origin was always intended to recreate the world as two after they destroyed each other. Why on earth would they do that? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. I mean, at that point, it sounds like a time loop. Like what Mike said. Annihilation event. So their plan for the Annihilation event is to recreate the Annihilation event. Basically. Because the world split and then crashed back into itself because the world wanted to be a part of itself. So what they're going to do is create Origin to remake two worlds which will then inevitably crash back into each other by the logic of the game because they'll want to be one again. So they just make another annihilation of it, assuming that Origin actually works. What would have made more sense then? The Origin was an arc that attempted to rescue what existed of the various Avesi and sorry, Cavesi and Agnians that were put onto it on the hopes that whatever planet was formed from two planets crashing into each other would be a habitable environment. 
after God knows how long, right? Obviously not immediately. That would have made way more sense to me rather than just like recreate both the planets as a like backup, but then it's just going to happen again. No? Like it's just going to happen again and again and again and again. Silvanara said it. In chat. One of the games, they don't tell you shit in the game. <laughs> They're just like, Origin. I don't know. You, you'd know more about that one than me. I'm just going off what pe information people give me, right? I, I don't... I don't know. The Ionios wasn't the intent? Yeah, yeah. Nia says it in that big lore dump at the start of chapter 7. <laughs> then I have even more questions. Why would they do that? Why would they run towards each other if they know they're going to get forced apart on two separate worlds which are not going to mix again? Other than just for a, like... Because love, you idiot? Dude! <laughs> no! Look, I might not be the most emotionally, like... Present person at times. I would... Burn this world to the fucking ground for my partner. I would do whatever needs to be done. Those last moments would have been spent desperately hugging each other and crying. And then collapsing like a fucking fool. The second they were ripped out of my arms by the world being pulled apart. I wouldn't- I would not have the strength to be like, No, it's so sad, we're being torn apart from each other! Right? Like... What? Dude, my takeaway after this game is Mobius were fucking right. <laughs> That's dramatic flair. That's the problem, the entire game is dramatic flair! <laughs> There's no story depth behind it. Everything is so dramatic. They don't feel like people. They feel like drama characters. Every time they have good emotional moments, they do like the most ridiculous shit afterwards. Like when Senna and Lanz are willing to sacrifice themselves. That's such a good fucking moment. Man. It's so good. Right? And then you have the same talk about how hope is what drives us forward like 17 times in the last three chapters. Like, who says that that many times? Who, like, who does that? <laughs> Just in all honesty.
I think the main problems are really at the end only. I think this game is an absolutely wonderful game that's relatively well made but has some mechanical issues early on in the game. Like, um, cute that the book's closed now, by the way. Um, we have to keep track of our progress. As the morning sun rises, uh, what's it called? Our lingering memories fade. I no longer see your silhouette. It's yeah, the, the whole combat day. system just needs to be like reworked early on. It's a bit unfortunate, in my opinion. Okay. It's all right. I won't forget you. Not until we can meet again. I swear it. Uh. I don't even necessarily think Art of Flow is that important. I think the combo. You should have one singular uh, like master art from the start of the game. That's it. Fusion, thank you. Yeah. If you had one fusion art right at the start of the game, you'd fix a lot of the early game problems, in my opinion. Because you can art, fusion art, art, right? And then you feel good about like that little burst of damage. <laughs> or you get it really early on once you've had a chance to acclimatize yourself. Or just something, maybe out of flow instead, like you said, yeah. Don't know. That wouldn't make sense, you aren't Ouroboros yet. This game constantly refuses to have its story and its gameplay make sense in tandem. That's Hardly an issue at this point. To, to be actually kind of rude there, the amount of times this game disregards its own fucking story for gameplay purposes is a fucking travesty. So it's not like that really matters that much, to be honest. Just make it so it's filled with one of your own arts at the start of the game, right? The two worlds are like red and blue. When they touch, they react and explode. Origin uses the energy from the corrosion to rate two purple worlds. Why not just one? <laughs> Why not just one? I know, easier. I know. Which is why your solution is better, of just having art of flow, like near the start or something. But I'm just saying that can't really be used in defense of the game either. You can't defend the game by saying it doesn't make sense story-wise when they constantly disregard their own story, right? True, also agreed. The reason why I enjoyed... Um, <laughs> Zephyr? So much at the start of the game. Is because it's quick. It's just quick. Enjoyed Zephyr all game. I probably would have had a lot more fun with this game if I just played Zephyr the whole time. I'm not going to lie. Although it was nice to do damage as well. Bad grow bland for you. I have 10,000 hours on dual blade space. At this point, <laughs> if I enjoy something, I think I've got it. Uh, yeah, what was I saying? This game, up until chapter... Five was a fantastic game. It was very slow. It was a very slow burn for chapter one, two, and three, I think. But that's intentional, so I don't have a problem with that. The combat was a bit of an issue, I think, personally. As I just said. 
chapter four really ramps up and does a good job of like okay here's the purpose of your journey that you've been working on sort of slowly figuring out yourself that you can leave something behind after you die like that's not just the end and you're done and it's over there's a purpose to it there's a meaning there's more to life as well if you choose for there to be it doesn't just have to be fighting and killing and all this stuff and then showing that there is a form of life outside of the misery of their world is a wonderful moment for the characters to have, especially Tyon. Right? And then chapter 5 builds up to this amazing climax. This fantastic climax with Nia. Not Nia, sorry. Uh, Mio. I read Nia in it. <laughs> Brain blasted me. And then you fighting N and stuff. But I think it then proceeds to immediately undermine its own strength. Because it spends all this time, like, meaning of life, leaving stuff behind when you go. Um. You know, we can live on in others even when we're dead. We can leave something behind, they can carry it with them. And all that stuff. All of those things that they're learning. And then Mio dies. And she's in-game, I don't know how long the time is, but she's dead for like... Maybe five seconds? Six seconds? Ten seconds? Like, it's not very long. Twenty seconds? Half a minute? Minute? Not even dead for a full minute. And it kind of has all of those themes that are so important to learn for these characters. And then I feel like it kind of just goes, eh, but that doesn't matter because you guys are the protagonists. Mio should have died. And she died at that point. And then Noah was in the pit of despair. He has this little dream sequence. Mio gives him the strength in his own mind. He realizes once again, he has the power to carry her memories on inside of himself and keep moving. He finds the strength at that moment to draw the lucky seven despite the fact that Ouroboros' powers are being suppressed, so he can't do it, because he's got his conviction, and he blocks the blade from N, and then instead of M, God, these names are fucking confusing, being Mio, M also temporarily steps in, because she is like, Noah didn't have to be like N. You know? She fights alongside you, N still gets cucked, he still has his breakdown, all that shit happens. The music in N's fight is tragic and sad because Mio is still dead, but you're going on regardless. But the Ouroboros power of, of Noah is permanently replaced with the Lucky Seven. Because Mio's dead. Your gameplay makes sense with your story. They merge together. It's just nice. That's probably do some BS of how M absorbed Mio's Ouroboros power, how Mio had M's Mobius power in order to preserve the Ouroboros stuff. You could, yeah, exactly. Right. But I honestly think it would have been completely fine if M was there for that one battle and then left. And you genuinely just never got a replacement. 
for for Mio. She's permanently gone, and you never have a fifth party member or sixth party member in that slot as a scar for the rest of the game that she is dead. She's gone. She's dead. But you're going on regardless. You're carrying her with you through spirit. Yeah, fucking Riku and Banana villain. Sure, that works, right? They just become permanent party members. In the post game, you can just bullshit it, right? Easier. It doesn't matter. As as bad as that is to say, in the post game, like make it just maybe it's M that replaces her. It's not super important, right? <laughs> You can you can come up with a lot more bullshit reasons after the story has ended. The makers of Origin probably preferred the two worlds to stay separate as if the collision never happened instead of having to deal with suddenly needing to share the planet with another foreign population of people. This would make sense to me. Winelith? Winlith? Sorry if I said that wrong. If it wasn't for the fact that seemingly the makers of Origin are or work for Nia and the other lady whose name I can't remember, the Queens, who seem to have sort of joined and worked together and had a very good relationship in the end and really got along. Because at that point, why wouldn't they just change it? You know? Like, if the two queens get along together and they can make this, like, giant project that seemingly each of them made half of the combine. Like. Why wouldn't they just make it one bigger world? Because clearly there'd be struggles but they can make it work they can get along they're proof they're living proof Melia, thank you we'll also start with m and n yeah does the game actively turn easier after slot six leaves the power level curve of enemies increasing I think you just leave it as it is. Just make it so that the, the commensurate amount of power is increased by Noah. Basically. Or if you get Manana and Riku in that slot, then it's fine, right? I want to say that this is not because I have bad faith for this game. And not because I think it's a bad game. But because I think it had the potential, at least in my mind, to be one of the best games I've ever played. But it failed in so many small ways in so many different areas. That it was like, this is a this is a really good game instead, and I'm happy to complete it. But then instead of being a really good game, it kind of just shat all over the floor and then smeared itself at its own shit at some point. And it's still good, but like I kind of don't want to touch it, you know? Like I'm like, yeah, I'll I'll play you. Ugh. Yeah, that's the type of thing that I understand why they do ETR, but it does remove part of the game for me. So that's like different for different people, obviously, right? Everything's subjective. Obviously, I'm not trying to tout what I'm saying is correct, but... For me... This game... 
can be wholly surmised as here is the story, here is the game. They go in parallel. Sorry, microphone. That's how it feels. Like, the story and the game don't matter to each other, necessarily. And it's just really sad. But I really think this game would have been fantastic if... Yeah, if Mio died. And you defeated N at that point. Also, what the fuck is the sword of creation? That was it came out of nowhere and it was irrelevant for the rest of the game. Um <laughs> Like it literally the first time I heard it mentioned, unless I'm mistaken, is at the end of chapter five. And they're like, oh, the sword of the end, the sword of creation. Oh my god, he's done it. And then it just like it doesn't matter. They mention it a few more times, but at no point is it ever relevant. Like, it really feels they wrote up to chapter five and they were like, We're finished, guys. We did it. We've done it. Wait, the runtime's only 40 hours? Fuck. <laughs> you know? We gotta slap 20 hours on this bad boy. Make some shit up. I broke the stream. No, I broke my, um, my Elgato. Look, if I shake my desk here. Wait. You piece of shit. If I shake my desk in the wrong way, my switch shakes out of the port for the Elgato. And then it cuts the stream up. The capture off for a moment. Bows through my point. I mean, I can hit my desk really hard, but I didn't want to. It's not doing it. How do you justify the protagonist suddenly being able to beat Sephiroth? His willingness to draw lucky number seven. Because he's been holding back the whole time because he doesn't want to kill them. He's already got a broken sword. Why give him two broken swords? <laughs> You know? The whole game, before that point, they constantly mention, like, Riku is like, you're not drawing it. Even up until that point, he's like, you could draw lucky number seven right now. You're just not doing it. Right before the cutscene, you could draw it. Draw it. And then Noah's just like, oh, I'm sad. Oh. I'm sad. I can't, oh, I'm sad. Sixty-two hours, please. Ending at exactly the level of the boss. Cute. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I know it's a JRPG trope for the power of friendship to fix everything, but... Kill Mio. M turns against N. Noah kills N. With Lucky Seven. Then you immediately chase down. There. And deal with Mobius. Somehow. However they would make that happen, right? So that you're still riding on the hype of your conclusion instead of concluding and then building. You can extend your conclusion. 
and still keep the hype going. Especially with the depression of Mio dying. And then the, like, conviction in the fight afterwards. And then chasing them immediately. You kind of wear it a little bit, but you can still build off of it. Instead of the way they did it. After the city, you go to Nia, then you or Gondor gets captured, you go to prison to save her, and then the Agnes castle scene. Yeah, yeah, exactly. How do I explain this? I've actually got a kind of decent way to explain this, I think. That's exactly what I was about to say, Mace. Xenoblade 3 ends at chapter 5. The rest of it is just there because it's a trilogy. Like, it doesn't need to be there for Xenoblade 3. And Xenoblade 3 would have ended better if Mio died, but Xenoblade... Trilogy needed Mio to be alive. Once again, I'm only saying this. Because I think this was a good game. I truly do. I truly do. Xena fans love it when games reference earlier games. Yeah. Just trust me, I, I can tell that from Mace alone. Although Mace is maybe an extreme example. But I actually think they ruined their own game by pandering to their previous games. You know? It's also one of those things of, in terms of fan service -y type stuff. Thinking about the boss fight in the cutscene that we were talking about before, right? The long cutscene of Mio. No, it's fucking, why are their names so fucking similar as well? You make two cat girls, you make them both three letters long. You make it M, N, and then I as the second letter. Come the fuck on. And they both end in circular vowels. Christ. Um, with Nia and Melia transforming their castles into mechs. Like, it's just pure fan service. For people who've played the previous game to be like, yeah, our, these characters, we love are badasses. It doesn't add anything to Xenoblade 3. Other than, like, destroying the... Cutscene, right? Destroying the pacing. Big Pharanuses. Pharanuses are just mechs. Mix with a different name. The guy in the furniture, yeah. And the people as well, right? Like, there was people literally just before she started doing that, and then they ran off. Unless they ran off to, like, seatbelts, they're fucked. They're dead. This guy's a paste. <laughs> this guy's got pasted. Doesn't matter, exactly. <laughs> it's fine if we sacrifice humans to beat the person who's sacrificing humans. Wait, shit, what? It 
or not, we actually don't know. That's the most unsatisfying shit ever, man. I know why they do it, but like, come on, really? You're gonna end your trilogy with... And we don't know. Ah. That's really disrespectful to me. You think it's really good if it wasn't certain if the arc activated? Fair. For me, that's kind of like really shitty. We know that the world's come back together. Do we? Because from what I remember, my memory is dodgy. At the start of the game, Noah has the birds go up and then Lance comes from over here and is like, Come on, Noah, the fireworks and stuff, right? And then Noah walks off a bit and then pauses and turns around and the world is like there. So unless that's just like dramatic stuff going on. That's really fucky, because it changes. Because he walks away, and then he hears the tune, but he doesn't look back and see the planet. It happens at the end of the DLC. That's so weird. I know, Mace, but come on. Which is, the, which is also weird, yeah, because he shouldn't remember it. There should be no Agni in Toon if he doesn't remember it. Because how would it be there? You shouldn't judge whether Ouroboros actions were right or not based on if the Ark activates or not. If it works, then Ouroboros were right and the heroes. If it doesn't activate, then they destroyed the world and everyone. Is it bad if I think that's kind of irrelevant? I think it is better to fight for your rights for like self-actualization as a person and maybe have stuff go horribly wrong for you than it is to live your life slaves indentured servitude constantly fighting to the death for the benefit of a few people that have enjoyment you know that find it amusing and suck your life essence the post credit scene confirms the origin activated successfully does it? Because surely he shouldn't be able to hear the theme, though. Like, he wouldn't have any memories. Because he'd be a clone. Or he'd be reverted or something. still exists so you think it does um, it, maybe he doesn't know what the music means but something tells him it's good yeah
It doesn't confirm that it happened to me. I don't know, it's a hard one. Obviously. I've said this a few times. Everyone's interpretation is their own interpretation and it is correct. I think this game built beautifully in chapter 4. It did a very good job of hitting it in chapter 5. Right until the last moment and then everything kind of went downhill. When does Xenoblade 3 stop? <laughs> you know? Hey, there we go. There we go. That is the end of that. Thank you, Mace, for making me play it. I enjoy the story that could have been rather than the story that was. I'm going to mark this as green. This is complete. I have completed the story. So there will be no more Xenoblade. If you were just here for Xenoblade... And I thank you very much for sharing your time with me, however long you've been around for. I appreciate it. I hope I haven't made you think of me as evil because of my comments on the game. <laughs> if you do want more Xenoblade from myself, I'm afraid it will not be happening. Um, potentially ever, if not for a very long time. At the very least, a whole year, if Mace redeems another one. Who knows? Um, if you do wish to stick around and have more of myself, then I will be back with stuff tomorrow. It will be Monster Hunter and... Monster Hunter? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> Monster Hunter Rise and Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. Otherwise, Thursdays and Fridays, which this would have typically been in, is going to be replaced with Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Which is a very dramatic title. Which I will be playing next week. You can see when and what I do things on that little linky link there. There's a Discord server if you want to go into there and check out whatever's in there. It's what you'd expect of a typical Discord server, really, of any streamer. And then a YouTube channel. If you want to watch all the Xenoblade words again, then get really pissed off at me. <laughs> I will... No, I'm not adding the comments anymore, Mace, because no one can see them. I will be... Back tomorrow. I will see you whenever I see you next time. Have a good one. Until then. Toodle.